The matron waves her hands and two acolytes at the side start to crank and you see a large chain and you hear the grinding of stone on stone. And you look up into the roof and what would look expect to be a sunbeam coming down, you see instead pure darkness wiping across until a complete cone is covering you. No one can see in, and you cannot see out. What you three see though is the Raven Queen's eyes on the statue suddenly go black and look. I need you to roll 2d20 for me, please. <gasps> Hello and welcome to the <laughs> <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Lose Your Dice. My name is Matt Bateman. Uh, I am the DM for this evening. It is so good to be back and to see you. Uh, there are grapes all over the place. Um, hello, good evening. And I've already lost my place, but that's okay. A couple of, uh, couple of housekeeping things, but I'm joined once again by the sacred Sasha Burgoyne, the godly Guy Samuels, oh. the reverent Rose Redon. Oh, darling. And the uh, deity David Cox. Oh. Uh, there's, there's a theme tonight, and we're going to find out a bit more about that later on. Uh, as I said, a couple of quick housekeeping things. Um, first of all, and some more exciting news, uh, we're in a brand new studio space. Mm. Uh, it might look the same, um, but we have since moved from our little spot in Kindestown to uh, my flat. Now we have a full soundproofed everything. Hopefully it sounds a lot better, uh, a lot cleaner, and uh, we're really good to go. Um, and other not so great news, I am sorry to say that Cheryl has stepped away from joining us on the show for, for the time being um, with scheduling and conflicts and that sort of thing. Um, still very, very good friend. Absolutely, still good mates, all that sort of thing. But just for for Cheryl, wasn't wasn't quite something she could fit in consistently. So uh, don't worry, we'll still see Saskia again uh, at some point. I'm going to sneak her in, and Rose's uh, Rose's already got some theories on how I'm going to do that. But we don't do that anyway. Uh, the one of the part. How are you guys all doing, by the way? Sorry, I just feel like I'm waxing lyrical. Yeah, very quickly. Yeah, we're great. We've been very silly in the lead yeah. up. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, we have we have laser pointers now. Yeah. So um, laser pointers and grapes. I didn't yeah. realize that at 30, 34 years old, I would still be as obsessed with laser pointers as I was at first. Well, laser yet. your beard off. <laughs> <laughs> like a little bit of smoke. Fire alarm goes off. We've got kicked <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah. Job done. Job done. Um, so. Instead of uh, rolling dice, I've actually got a couple of questions for this evening for for everyone. Oh. So the from first where? one's a general one from from a fan, uh, oh. lovely lovely Mel Piper, um, <gasps> who's a mutual friend. Oh um, yes. uh, I promised Rose that there will be no mention of isolation as fascists. Um, so uh, Rose, what isolation? No, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, so to to the group. Fuck these guys. <laughs> Generally. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. If you could save one other member of the party and only one, who would it be? Me as David or me as Alexi? Oh, Alexi. Yeah, this okay. is this is to your characters for sure. An other, so we can't just all pick ourselves. No, you've okay. got to save someone else. Ah. It's you. You've got to save a character. You Myla. Say, and we just missed that. Yeah. Well, D twenty two is one hundred percent saving Alexi, and I'll tell you why. Because he's got the gold. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> it's not personal. You're carrying the money. That, you know what, you that makes perfect sense. That is a full 100% in-character answer, and I respect it. I won't lazy your eye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Rose, though, <laughs> going blind. <laughs> I'd, oh, it's tricky. It's very tricky. Um, Do you want me to go? Yeah, go on. While I, I'm con still considering. Yeah, Alexi, Will the ship continue to sail? Alexi would absolutely save Myla because Science Club. Yeah, I think Science Club does, does yeah. almost trump you, which is... Almost yeah. trumps. It's almost. tricky. I don't know. Oh. Like, and that's why I'm deliberating. So, yeah, give me give me time to ruminate. Also, can we just point out that the uh, the fascist is interested in, uh, you know, saving the other snout? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the rumour mill spins itself at this point. <laughs> uh, uh, just, just the title no has gone to the fascist. The fascist. <laughs> Not a fascist. Not a fascist. Not fascism a fascist, can go guys. fuck itself. <laughs> fascism is bad. No, don't don't do fascism, kids. Um, <laughs> <laughs> don't do, don't do drugs, kids. Don't do fascism. <laughs> While you're at it, don't do a fascism. fascism business. But speaking of fascism, okay, I finished writing down the fucking feet. To to the snow elves. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is the second question. Oh, crap. Uh, also from Mel. Thank you, Mel. <laughs> so, how much are Maywe and Myla concerned slash believing what they're hearing about the Snow Elves now that they're out amongst the wider world? Ooh. 
Do you want to answer that first? No, I want you to answer that okay. first. You um, haven't even answered the last question. Yeah, no, true. <laughs> Sasha has never answered a single direct question aimed at her this entire campaign. Not about Myla. <laughs> you can ask about Sasha as much as you like, and I'll just be like, yeah, sure, whatever. But, you know, Myla's just, you know, she's got other things on. It's just, um... Yeah, 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 um, <laughs> yeah so, um, I think Myla is very much like, yeah, this kind of checks out um, with just... I think she's not all that surprised. Um, and I think she's already sort of had the opinion that, like, most, I don't know, most groups of people have done wrong at some point and I think didn't have the idea that her people were in any way above that. I think she's more surprised by Mayway's reaction to it than than the fact that it's happening, I think. Like, she's mostly like, oh, this is interesting lore that we're finding out, and I'm, like, surprised that there's this much that's hidden, but... Yeah, she's not, um, yeah, I don't think she's as cut up about it as you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mayway just can't, she's not aligning it very well in her mind. She's just like, what do you mean? Oh, God, the things that I had never thought about before. And I feel like she's, like, a few couple of steps, if not a step away from having a bit of a mental breakdown about the whole thing. <laughs> she just, every time she turns around and someone else is pointing out that her people are crap, it's like, Oh shit! It's not a lie. It's not. It's 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 becoming truer and truer by the person I meet. And I just kind of thought that we were pretty cool. I thought that she totally fucking drank the Kool Aid. Maybe fucking grew she, up in the Kool Aid. She scolded that Kool Aid. Yeah, she grew up in the Kool Aid factory. <laughs> just swimming in the Kool Aid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's upside about, you know. But at least she's like accepting it. You know, yeah. she's not being like you're lying. She's like, oh god, oh are you? I'll leave that up for you. Outside of family that's automatically evil, you're just kind of like, your people are bastards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and? And. <laughs> kind of feel we've ever <laughs> pretended not to be. Every person is a bastard. What's your point? Well, on that lovely note. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, hey. Oh, look how big this grape is. Look how big that grape is. Uh, cool. I think we're going to go ahead now, though, jump in and find out what happens next on Who Lives Who Dies. <laughs> See you soon. Last time, the yet-to-be-named group found themselves on the road, seeking shelter as they began the long journey northeast towards Milford to confront Sarek and for Mayway to seek out answers to the materials being smuggled out of their homeland. The party soon arrived at an unkempt Temple of the Raven Queen, quickly being pulled into service by the matron Ethe, who exclaimed at the lack of support they had received from the Karstavs and requested assistance clearing out a monstrosity that had taken residency in one of their larger crypts. A bitter fight with a terrifying mash of flesh and mouth soon followed, but our heroes came out on top, defeating the abomination and reclaiming the crypt for the temple. The party now rests with a storm raging outside, and unbeknownst to the party, Saskia has disappeared into the raging winds in a single flash of lightning. Myla, a large booming crack suddenly wakes you from your rest. What would you like to do? Um, Myla briefly like looks around and realizes like everything's okay. Like bed sheets are still on, everything's still fine. Like Cyril is kind of like slightly disturbed, but it's fine. Cyril's curled up in the corner, snoring softly. Yeah. And she's like, okay, okay, everything's good. Whoa. But yeah, that was some. Um, that was quite quite loud thunder. Maybe it's hit the temple or something so is there like a window in her room yeah so they're quite they're quite large quarters you've each been given your private quarter um and yeah there's there's a window um the, 
the windows come undone a little bit, the shutters that have come slightly loose, and a little bit of water coming through, and a little bit of wind, and it's slapping slightly, just sort of cracking, cracking against against itself a little bit. But um, yeah, you could go up and check. Yeah, um, I'm going to go up and check and like sort of rattle it a bit and try and open it. Cool. It opens without without any sort cool. of problem. And then like stick my head out and look up and just check to see whether or not the temple's been struck by lightning. Sure. Uh, you stick your head out. You're immediately soaked. Um, but make a perception check for me, please. Uh, a straight roll. Cool. Uh, that would be a 19. A 19. Uh, with a cursory sort of glance around, you look in the courtyard, and by the occasional like blue flashes of lightning lighting um, the, the surrounding area, you don't appear to see any damage on the temple. Um, but looking out just to the edge of the, of, the, um, of the compound, you do appear to see a humanoid figure, and a bolt of lightning strikes them, and then poof, they disappear. Oh, shit! Maybe they just weren't there? I I swear I saw someone. Is there anyone else out in the rain at all? Nope. Completely, completely deserted. There's a stables and some horses in the corner, but no one really tending to them. She's going to sort of like try and wipe all the um, Doesn't water help much. her eyes. Yeah, and like peer. <laughs> mm. Hello? No answer. <sighs> is it morning? Uh, at about the time, it's probably about 2.30, maybe 3 in the morning. It's still very dark out. Yeah, yep. so it's my morning. It's but... your morning, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> well, I guess I'll go see if Mayway's up. She's like, she'll... Like, come back in and try and shut the window so that the water stops coming in. Yeah. Um, does it, or...? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it shuts without... Like, like, it's fine. It was blown apart a little bit, okay. but yeah, it shuts without effort, and you wrap yourself up in a, in a robe which has been provided by the monastery and, or the temple, and you, you know where Mayway is sleeping. As, as the others, you can hear the pre-recorded loop of D22 echoing down the hallway. <laughs> um, cool. Um, Myla's going to, yeah, like, pad down the, the hallway, leaving very wet. Uh, footprints as she goes and then knock on Mayway's door and kind of stage whisper Mayway! Are you awake? Would my long rest have been completed? Yeah. Uh, What time did you go to bed? Last time we played it was February. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It is now April. You've you've gotten a long rest in this time. Yes, yeah. You've you've passed. (laughs) Maybe quite likes to like lie down and like while taking her meditative long rests, but she opens her eyes. Hello, are you awake? I am now. Oh, good. Come Um, in. Yeah, Myla's going to come in, and like as she's doing so, she's like wringing out her like oh, lots of hair, just creating just little like, like puddles. Uh, <laughs> what's up? Um, uh, uh, there was a big clap of thunder. I thought that the temple might have been hit, so I put oh. my head outside. Just thanks. Um, <laughs> Cyril walks in underneath you in a little robe and just gets absolutely soaked by the water. <laughs> I love that he's got a little robe. <laughs> Runs back to his room. Um, and... Then I looked out the window to check whether the temple was damaged. I don't oh. think it is, but mm-hmm. I thought I saw someone get struck by lightning and then disappear. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Wait, say that again? I thought I saw someone get struck by lightning and then disappear. Oh. Ah. Uh, are you sure you weren't having a dream? No, I was awake by that point. That's uh, why I'm very wet. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, all right. Shh. Um... <laughs> What, 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 what should we do about that? Maybe it was a ghost? Well, this is a, a temple. Oh, After yeah. Do you get queen. lightning ghosts? Uh, I don't know much about gods who work with lightning, to be honest with you. Maybe. Huh. Maybe it was like a lightning sprite. Yeah, or some, like, the Storm Lord, or... Wait, this is the Temple of the Raven Queen. I, I don't know. Do you, what do you want to do? Do you want us to go looking for her? Oh, I just thought I'd tell someone who knew anything more about ghosts. Or just anything. I didn't really know what to do. Um, and you were, I knew you'd be awake. 
Good, 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 Which good thinking. Were. Good think. Yes, I was awake. <clears throat> um. All right. I don't really know what to do about that either. Maybe we could ask the matron if it's haunted, or we could go. The Raven Queen's all about death, right? Yeah. Well, obviously, it's going to be haunted. Yeah. What kind of death god doesn't have haunts? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I agree with that, but lightning doesn't really line up with those things. Maybe Alexi would know. Alexi's smart. We could yeah. go wake Alexi up. I'm sure he would appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, now that we're alone, I have a question. Uh-huh. Is there something going on between you and Alexi? <laughs> You've asked me that before. Yeah, I don't think I was satisfied with your answer. You did that thing that you do where you uh, deflect. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, Sasha's voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I told you then, I, like, we're working on some stuff together. I just, I guess, I noticed you guys gravitating towards each other. When we're working on stuff. In general. Just in, well, I mean, yeah, like, he's, he's nice. Like, you're all very nice. You don't have that relationship with me. But, yeah, I just thought I'd check. It, yeah, I, I mean, I don't, um... Again. I don't think... I don't know what... What... What I would do to know, but I don't think so. Do to know what? Well, like, you ask it as if you think that there is. Yeah. But I don't know why you think that. Because you gravitate towards each other. Yeah, but loads of people do that. I don't know. I guess it's... You watch people, and you know people, and you spend time with people. You always can get a sense of the ones that are attracted to each other and the ones that are good friends. And sometimes those things get a bit mixed up and makes you wonder. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I Saskia mean, spends most of her time trying to make me uncomfortable, so. I thought she just did that to everyone. Yeah, I just get a bit, I thought, find myself going a little bit purple in the cheeks when she starts. <laughs> So is there something going on between you and Saskia? She's a baby. She, you know, humans. Uh, when they're young, they can get all, I don't know. They think that, or they ch tend to chase us elves, thinking that they can get something more from us than they could from another human. I, I mean, I didn't really encounter that many humans, and I don't think any of them ever really chased after me. Um, I mean, look at you, honey. I think you're probably wrong. I don't think we're like the halflings type, and that was mostly who I met who weren't elves. Oh, really? Yeah. Where are there halflings in the Val? Well, around the borders. Oh. Yeah. I live in the southern border. I never came across too many halflings. Oh, yeah, yeah. They help with the trade and everything. Oh. Amazing. That's why I speak halfling. I didn't know that you spoke halfling. That's awesome. Yeah, you pick it up. But yeah, halflings, not that interested in, I guess. Well, my experience with halflings, again, I'd disagree, but maybe we just met different kinds of people. Yeah, maybe. They like to party and have fun. That kind of goes pretty easily into uh, chasing. Uh, yeah, I mean, there just wasn't that much partying. Where it was you... all business. Wait, what part of the valley are you from? Um, the border. No, like, name of the town. Thildoro. Oh. Do I know much about Thildoro? Yeah, you'd know Thildoro was the main, it's the main border town between the, where basically the Val sort of ends and you get into the Coomera Desert before heading south through Garen Springs and, and Coldhaven. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe one day you could take me around there. I never spent too much time down there myself. Did you not go through the border to leave? You were transported. Oh, I went. I left a different way. Oh. Literally teleported into the human capital. Yeah. Oh. Library um, stuff. 
Right, yeah, library stuff, yeah. Um, yeah, well, most things come through us. That's that's pretty much what we do. Anything that comes through, you know, on by, by land anyway, comes through Thelderow. So, you know, yeah. Awesome. There's not much else there. Would there have been, um, like, would my family have a strong connection with Thelderow? Um, with the work you did, no. I feel like it, it was more trade for import and export. I feel like the work your family did specifically didn't really touch outside of the Val. Fair. They rub shoulders with people more and more in Whitethorn. Okay, cool. Definitely. So my player uh, ignorance is justified. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe you'd take me around there one day. Yeah, sure. Where are you from? So the southern oh, yeah. border? Yeah, help me out, DM. <laughs> <laughs> I remembered where I was from. I didn't even have a last name until recently, <laughs> man. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> sure. So you and your family come from a northern northern part, just just north of the White Thorn, called Raleigh, which oh. is sit underneath the moon where a lot of the moonstone and yeah, Rylanthian right falls. Yeah. It's where Rylanthian right is named after. <laughs> Uh, I'm from Raleigh. Okay. Um, I'm not sure I really know that that well. I, I, I mostly spent my time um, in Thildero, along the rest of the border, or in the library. Oh. The library's fucking boring, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just... Um, it just wasn't for me, really, more than anything. I think, yeah, I mean, I know... Me neither. I know for some people, they, you know, it's, it's um, you know, their, like, life's purpose and everything. Um, but, yeah, it just didn't didn't really work for me. I feel that. I thought you were all big in with the library. I just... I just really lacked a purpose. And, you know... Uh, well, I don't know how you were raised, but where I'm from, it's all about feeding back into the Val, you know? They protect us and raise us and care for us and provide for us, and it is selfish to sit around and do nothing with the life that you've been given, which is what I was doing. Right. Library seemed good as anything. It oh. seemed important. Okay. Yeah. Where I'm from, I guess, you know, we only get to sort of really go to the library if we show sort of special talent. Yeah, me too. Yes. Yeah. You know. So you I showed went, a talent? I went and I said I wanted to do something that mattered and take over something that needed to be protected. Yeah. Okay. Mm. What are we going to do? Um, I don't know. We could sit and chat until, I guess, the others wake up. Or we could go out and walk in the rain. I miss the cold. Mm, I miss the cold, too. It's just so warm down here. I know, but... It's weird. Wet can equal cold if we walk around long enough. Yeah, but wet's different. It's weird when it doesn't freeze on you. We could go out and make some snow using our... Um, What's it called? Snow bolt, garden bolt, ice bolt. Frostbite. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess we could. Do we do these spells? <laughs> do you think that would be a bit weird in another god? Like, do you think the Raven Queen appreciates snow? I. It... I never even thought about it. She must, because sometimes it must snow here, right? Maybe it doesn't. Oh my god. A place without snow? No. That is not There's a thing. loads of places without snow. That is not a thing. Yes. I do not believe it. <laughs> so a place without snow sometimes, yeah, fine. But always without snow? I, I think there are places where it doesn't snow. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Save it. <laughs> it's struggling so much. <laughs> Oh. But I, yeah. I mean, I haven't been to those places. Yeah. No? Then how do you know they exist? <laughs> because, like, you know how it 
never doesn't snow with us. Yeah. So surely the opposite is true somewhere else. And it doesn't snow most of the time here. So presumably there's somewhere at the other end of that that never snows. I don't think about anything outside of the world that I'm from, I tell you. It's starting to do my head in a little. <laughs> I think I only ever thought about the world outside of where I was from. <laughs> my, uh, my family name is Las Narema, by the way. Ah, pretty name. I remember just, I was, I froze a little bit in that moment. I, there was no reason to keep it a secret. Were you, is it a, is it like a noble family? Were you worried Alexi might know who they were? No, like gen genuinely, it was like my brain just froze and panicked for a moment. And like, my family are old money who, who um don't have money anymore. So... Oh. It's like, I don't know, I learned to be careful who I mentioned my name to because chances are someone might uh, sneer at you or want something from you. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's the benefit of having a family name that no one knows about. Yeah. If people heard of, have heard of Amanda Dell, I'm sort of like, oh, that's a surprise. Guess you've been to the shop. <laughs> Do your family live down there as well? In Thilborough? Yeah. Yeah. What are they like? Uh, like a family? I don't know. There's my mum and my dad, and I have a brother and a sister. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. What's your relationship with them like? <laughs> that is a deep question. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, every, <laughs> this is the first time you and I have been alone for ages where we haven't had to keep an eye on, you know, the, the, the world around us to make sure that no one was showing up. And Sure. We haven't had a chance to talk. I don't know. Yeah, just... Oh, wow. I think fairly standard family stuff, really. Like, you know, we were annoying teenagers and then we all went off and did our stuff. Nice. What about you? What about me? How's your relationship with your family? Um, good. They're they're funny, but um, but not like hi hi funny, like weird. But just the, they really care about their work. They're all very driven. They they are focused, and I guess I I guess they're um. I guess I'm kind of the black sheep of the family because I don't really have any focus. I think you have a lot of focus. Now. Right. <laughs> okay. For the first 125 years, not so much. <laughs> right. Yeah. <sighs> Lightning ghosts. Lightning ghosts. Mm. Do you want to do something stupid? <laughs> like like what? I don't know. I was thinking we could go down and break into the crypt down where we fought that big face thing to see if there were other ghosts down there. That sounds like such fun. Um, I'm so bored of being responsible. When, when we did that, um, I was a panther and I got my face burnt off and I don't really want that to happen again. I'll protect you. Actually, to be fair, you'll protect me, but it, we'll protect each other. Yeah, I, oh, um, I should go back to my room. Um, <laughs> oh, I think right. you should too. Don't go to the crypt by yourself. Should I wait here and make sure you don't go down to the crypt? I am perfectly responsible and capable of the incense. <laughs> Deception. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you want? Do you want to roll in safety? Deception yeah. versus insight. <laughs> Please. Oh. Straight rolls. No, no deception. Yeah, yeah, straight roll. No, I'm not giving you disadvantage or advantage. Just a straight roll. Natural twenty with a plus seven. Fuck. <laughs> that was a really good. Natural roll, nineteen. Oh, wow. 
What's the plus two? Oh, but still, don't be a natural twenty. <laughs> Okay, fine. Just, just don't, don't go down to the crypt, Mayway, by yourself. Oh my God! You remind me of my family members. So sensible, so smart, and funny, but in a not ha ha way. Not that part. The sensible part. Right. I just don't want to want to do reckless things. I wonder why D twenty two is sleeping. Maybe you he can hear him. He's there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is that weird snore he does, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's getting real good at it. Yeah. He started mixing in different snores. Wait, who else snores? Everyone snores. Do I snore? Yes. Really? Can. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're... That one. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like thunder. Oh, my God, that's embarrassing. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm that one. Oh god. <laughs> By process of elimination. <laughs> all right. I, I, I promise I won't go into the crypts. I'm just gonna. I don't know. I'm gonna go and do some forms or something. Something sensible. Do some forms. Right, that kind of forms. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm gonna go do some work. All right. Work on your science club stuff. Oh yeah, wait. Tell me about science club. Oh, um. What you making? We. T- I told you we can't tell you it was a secret. I know, but I want to know. Go on, tell me. Tell That's me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. We. I know, but come on. <laughs> nope. Please. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go and go and work, and if I catch you peeping, I will be very unsurprised. <laughs> <laughs> You love me, really. <laughs> don't make me put Cyril outside your door to make sure you don't go down to the crypt. He will tell. <laughs> Maybe I take Cyril down to the crypt with me. He seems like a sprightly type. Just like look at Cyril, who's just like shivering in the crypt. He's like, yeah, you have an adventurous one. <laughs> mm. All right, all right. I'll just do my sensible girl stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with your sensible uh, girl stuff. <laughs> oh, I do sit-ups. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back to my room and fiddle around with the herbalism kit and try not <coughs> to explode anything. Okay. Uh, make a... Are you actually trying to make something or are you just, you just doing it for the sake of doing it? Uh, let's try to make something. Cool. Uh, give me a nature check. Or something else, because I'm the world's worst druid. (laughs) Uh, Either nature or... Or what are you trying to make, first of all? Health potion. Make a medicine check for me, please. Much better. Using your... Using... Yep. Cool. (laughs) Yes, please. Shit. Eleven. Nope. Twelve. Twelve. Starts well. You get the base components, and you can hear Alexi, Alexi's voice droning in the back of your head, and like you're trying to like time <laughs> droning it. is right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 No. Milo. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, like that. Um. But like you sort of get <laughs> kind of now. sick of the monotone a little bit, and you zig when you should have zagged, and the the red it is suddenly shifts to quite a violent blue, um, and cool. it shakes in your hand and still suddenly calming down, but you're holding a potion. As far as you know. Milo like puts a stopper in it okay. and writes on the label um potion question mark. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Drink question mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And then just sort of sits and thinks about it for a while. <laughs> How many setups has, has Mayway done since since Milo left? Uh, probably like twenty. And then She's gonna meditate and just like really focus on herself and try and manifest her echo to look a little bit more like her. Okay. 
Roll a d20 and add your wisdom modifier, please. Minus two. <laughs> oh, honey. So, seven. So, you sit and you concentrate and you peek an eye open and you see your echo sitting oh so casually in the alcove with the windows faced, just looking down at you. Doesn't look a thing like you. Mm. You're meant to be sitting here. They laugh. <laughs> Silently, no noise comes out. They stand up and they jump through the shutters ah. and disappear. Ah. Oh my god, I'm the worst. <laughs> I should have paid more attention. I should never have gone to class. <sighs> I'm just going to go look at the window, see if I can... Do I see her? Do I see her? And you open the shutters, make a perception check. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Uh, negative two. Uh, Fifteen. You don't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's wet, it's raining, there's not a soul to be seen. Lightning ghost! You hear some very distant thunder, but no response. <sighs> Alright. I'm just gonna go back and actually do some fighting forms. Cool. And get bored halfway through and stop. <laughs> and the night continues. The thunder eases off, and we're suddenly met with a damp morning. Uh, where a knuckle raps on Alexei's door. Enter. Ah, uh, yes. Sorry to bother you, sir. Um, the service would begin in about an hour. Um, the matron asked me to come. Um, I'm here at your service. I I'm from well. I'm a small humanoid boy in robes that don't quite fit, uh, and his sleeves sort of tucked in. Looks at you quite earnestly, and frankly, looks like he's shitting himself a little bit. Um, looks up at you expectantly. Has a um, morning meal been prepared for my companions? Uh, yes, yes, it'll be ready in about ten minutes. Um, we're getting them out now. Excellent, then you are dismissed. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, I'll be right here. Um, if you needed me, please ring this little bell. And he pulls from his robes a little silver bell and hands it to you. Alexei will just put it in the inside pocket. Uh, from well, you said? Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. I shall uh, call on you should I require your service. Th thank you, sir. He bows and he walks out backwards, closes the door. Uh, and Alexi will get up, um, puts his shirt on, socks, boots, all of that. No Great. trousers. Oh, no, he, he slept in his trousers. Shirt cocking it. He slept in his trousers. It's Alexi. He, he's a never nude. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's just super uncomfortable. We've seen the art. Any kind of nakedness. <laughs> Uh, and, yep, yeah, we'll just step out and walk straight for the uh, dining hall. Great. And the rest of you are all sort of rousing at the same <coughs> same sort of time. D22 also. Mm -hmm. what, what are you up to at this point? Um, I think he just, st he's just stopped snoring. Um, Does it stop like halfway through, the... like you press stop on a song? Yeah, it just winds itself down. <laughs> <laughs> then... Ah, that was a fantastic sleep. Am I right? You are completely alone. <laughs> oh. oh. He tinkers with his um with his uh, compass a little bit, winds it for the day. Mm -hmm. And you've had a long rest. Are there any uh, magic items or anything you want to create before we crack on? Um, I would like to ideally um, re-imbue my crossbow, please. Mm -hmm. um, like now, now I've got a, uh, a slot. Um, I think it's always fun when I have fire on it. Fire okay. power. May I, may I add fire to it? Yes, so now when you use your light crossbow, it'll do a bonus 1d4 fire damage Perfect. on top of the normal piercing damage. So it should be a 1d6 plus 1d4 uh, damage on a successful hit. Thank you very much. Very good. Um, Mayla? Mayla? <coughs> um, Mayla's going to write a note and then uh, head down to the uh, dining hall and when she sees Alexi, be like, Good morning, Master Alexi. And oh. then very unsubtly pass you a note. <laughs> 
Uh, Do you like me? If yes, check this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alexi will, uh, the sort of very height of propriety, just incline his head, say nothing, and just take the note, read it. <laughs> it says, I've made a potion. It was supposed to be red. It's turned out blue. Help. Um, don't know what to do with it. Should I drink it? Uh, well, Alexi <laughs> reads, fold it inside pocket. Uh, <laughs> Waves the nearest servant away. <laughs> oh, okay, Frommel turns and walks away. He's, uh, he's been sort of like keeping a respectful yeah. distance the entire time, yeah. By any chance, you didn't happen to uh, zig instead of zag, did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah. Right. What did I do? Ah, um, I, I, I believe you may have um, uh, imbalanced the alchemical compounds, uh, thus creating a sort of uh, half-life... Uh, it, uh, it, essentially, the it, it it's either going to be fine or it'll kill us. Ooh, that might be good. Not us, but something. Well, we will we'll have to try it. I'll test it later. Yes, let's do that. Did I do the the bowing? Oh yeah, that that, that was wonderful. I, 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 but I wasn't I wasn't remotely concerned about you. It's when Mayway shows up that I'm a little bit anxious. <laughs> She asked me about the... So I'll, no, sorry. Servants. Right. Yes, that's fine. Oh, um, I, I had them put out food for you. Oh, how very kind of you. They're not here. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Lexi. How you doing? Thank God I dismissed them, honestly. Um, <laughs> what? Again, right. Just sleep well, my again. lord. <laughs> you understand that if you keep doing that in front of them, I have to slap you. What? Oh, shit. Right. <laughs> shit. I forgot. Right. I forgot. Okay. I was like, I was throwing my flail and I missed it and it landed on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not exactly thinking too clearly right now. Did Myla tell you about the lightning ghost? Uh, no, no. No, no there are many things to tell you about. There was, so I saw a lightning ghost uh, it, in uh, the storm. Cyril and then has a robe. He you has a robe. This? And then Mayway asked me if we were a thing again. Indeed. And then Good morning, again. Lexi. <laughs> again. How are you? Oh, 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 I slapped Lexi on the back. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. So uh, just, 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 just one more time. First of all, again. Um, secondly, <laughs> hey, buddy. How are you? Um, uh, third. Um, are you talking to me or him? No, Cyril. Cyril. <laughs> Good morning, Cyril. Uh, Alexi will just get a bit of the uh, the bread and put it on his. Um, Shoulder and just hold his hand out for Cyril. To Cyril instinctively runs up your arm, yep. smacks your back with his tail, and starts nibbling on the bread as well. Yes. So Alexis just stood there talking with Cyril on his shoulder. Uh, right. Okay. So um, let, let, let's let's be very clear about this one further time. Uh, my lord or Lord Carstav uh, is a pro. Who? <laughs> I will hit you in the head with your flail. You could try. <laughs> I'd succeed. Right. Oh, big fighting words. And but. <laughs> Are you ticklish, Lexi? I really, honestly, it's dangerous. I think you should tickle him. <laughs> oh my goodness, do you? Do you, Dan? I dare you. Do not fucking breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Make an attack roll. <laughs> Alexi, are you wearing your armor at the moment? Yeah. <laughs> That's a genuine question. Absolutely. Uh, do I add my to Can hits, I take the dodge action? Or is it just straight? Uh, I'm going to call uh, slide of. I'm going to call sleeted. slide of hand. <laughs> to uh, try and like slip under yeah, his yeah. arms. Yeah. Cool. Dirty 22. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that hints. <laughs> <laughs> Go for those ribs. Ah, I, 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 I do not like being touched. Does he laugh? <coughs> no, he hates <laughs> being touched. <laughs> but are you like ticklish even if you hate being touched? I'll tell you what, right. Okay. 1 to 10 ticklish, 11 to 20, fucking hates it. Why are you rolling? Natural, Natural 20. 20. <laughs> <laughs> you just stand there like. It's like tickling a statue. <laughs> There's no reaction. All right, fine. I dreamt that I gambled Cyril and D22 away. Did you win? <laughs> no, I lost and I'm sorry. I'm right, sorry, okay, I feel very okay. good. Uh, oh, oh, right, right, right. Um, shut up. Lord Carstav, Lord Carstav, you're doing great. No surprise there. Lord Carstav, is there anything I can <laughs> uh, do? So you wonder why I ask you these questions? From well. Yes, sir. We appear to be missing one of our company. If you would please rouse oh, yeah. Yes, of course, of course. Um, Cess. Yes, yes, the young, young human. Correct. Yes, good. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll bring her to the diner. Please, please begin. And Lord Carstav, yes. would you like me to go and get her? Uh, no, we have a servant. Of course, Lord Carstav. Well done, eat. 
Yes, Lord Kirsten. <laughs> um, from our from our runs off. <laughs> yeah, like so we're given the look of and you're still stood here. He was already <laughs> gone. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to have food today, Lord Castoff. Right, well, you know what, that's actually, it's better. Lord Castoff, would you like me to <laughs> rub your boots? I can clean your boots for you. Oh, no, you're fine, don't worry. Okay, sorry, Lord Castoff. Right, we have <laughs> Castoff. Castoff. <laughs> Castoff. Maybe just my lord. My lord. Wait, I have a question, Lord <laughs> This is This is going to be a very fucking long day. <laughs> if am we call I, am you... I your bodyguard, or yes. I'm, I'm wearing library robes, why would I be guarding you? Oh, uh, you're part of my retinue. What's a retinue? Oh, it's a fancy word for, um, uh, it's kind of like uh, an entourage. <laughs> am I going, uh, group. <laughs> gotcha. Team. Of which you're the leader. Yeah, that would be correct. Lord Cass. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi just has a vain <laughs> oh, don't, don't kill the allies, don't kill the allies. <laughs> don't try. So if, if... Hey, could you and I one day, not right now, because we're in a temple where you're the boss. Yes. One day, would you be interested in us having a friendly... Uh, um, session. Absolutely fine. Oh, fantastic. Right. I look forward can to I that. do that? Mm. Well, can you go after I go with him? Just because I want to try to see if I can beat Alexia. Mm, we could gamble on the but results. I want to see if I can beat both of you up as well. I, but I know that I can't beat you up. <laughs> you can't? You can become giant animals. <laughs> yes, that is a fair point, actually. It would not remotely be a fair point. Oh. Unless we teamed up against you, in which case that wouldn't be super fair. Ooh, 2v2? Two v- two 2v2? Two two? Where is Saskia? May I speak? Oh. Oh, apologies. Look, look, look Lord um, Yes. She does not appear to be in her room. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, sir. I can go and look again. It was it was room 341, yes? That is correct. correct. Oh, yes, sorry. I, yeah, that, that is where I like. Oh, but maybe, please do not scold me. I'll go and check again. Very sorry, very sorry. That no, no. Job. And Alexi will walk with him. Maywe, did you take her down to the crypt? No. No, maybe. I mean, maybe she's. Do not even looking. tell me that you were thinking about wandering off again. No, Lord Castell. <laughs> no, she wasn't. But maybe, maybe your seamstress went out looking for some company. Alexi follows the boy. It's like the fuck this. <laughs> this <laughs> progressively getting more of a headache the longer this conversation you, you, goes you on. You quickly arrive at, at what was Saskia's room. It was only a couple doors down from where you were all, all sleeping. You all kept quite close together, but you walk in and the door's open. Is the egg in there? The egg is not in there. Oh. Can I whisper to the boy? Because um, I'm assuming he's like standing by the door as Lord Castaff. He opened the door first and you guys walked in and he's waiting. Uh, I will just stand next to him and say, Lord Castaff requires a seamstress to travel with him to let his girdle out. <laughs> Very good, man. I will, I will see to us and I'll instruct the matron shortly. Um, shall, I, shall I leave now or is this... You just wait, but if we need a, a fresh girdle... <laughs> of course, of course. I will From well? I can do. You don't hear it. No. <laughs> no. Uh, y- y- yes, Lord Castor. Uh Alexi will just be staring at the absence of a Saskia <laughs> and will just wave the boy over. Uh, as he gets close, we'll just attempt to grab him by the scruff oh. and just push him into the nearest wall. <laughs> a- a- let up, Lord Castor. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're not. Kindly tell me where my companion is. Make an intimidation check. I'm going to pull these. the joke. Oh, it's out. a one! It's a one. Not a natural one, it's a three. It's a three. Um, he he catches himself. So I did as you were instructed. I, she simply is not here. I do not know. I came back to see immediately. Please put me down, sir. I'm, I'm very sorry to have displeased you. Let's go. <laughs> Fetch the matron. Oh yes, he picks himself up and runs, crying. A little bit. Um, My lord, with your permission, I will cast locate object and try and find Saskia's belt or the egg. What would Saskia have? She has that coat that she just got. The coat. Does anyone actually know where she is? I have not heard of her. All right. I have I a question will. before we check. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is a girdle? <laughs> where did you learn a word like girdle? I heard her say it. 
I think you must have misheard me. I could have sworn you said you change Alexi's girdle. <laughs> I definitely do not. I'm not. Out of the way, out of the way, and the matron, still in her gown, walks in. <laughs> Alexi is like. <laughs> Podcaster, I, I understand that oh, no. our, our companion of yours has gone missing, a servant? Correct. I, I can assure you that the young boy had nothing to do with it. He, no mm. one came or left, as, as so far as we know. I? No one through the doors. Um, we haven't seen anyone leave. Um, if this boy has displeased you, then by all means, we will leave him in, into your watchful discipline. But he informs me that no one has seen come or go. Do I believe that? I'm making an inside check. Um, you betrayed me, so I'm not using you again. <laughs> oh, shit. 13. She seems pretty forthcoming. Does. Like, quite concerned. She's clearly rushed here. She's a little out of breath. Um, like, we can send our men and to scour the temple? Do so. Yes, of course, of course, of course. Uh, feeling a little bit distrustful, could I send D2 off on a drone mission just to go and scout the immediate areas? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Make an investigation check, please. Oh, I know Mayway is looking at Alexi is going to do his investigating Ooh. thing. 20, unnatural. Uh, a dirty 20? Yeah, a dirty 20. Scouting around, you don't seem to spot any sign of Saskia or Saskia's whereabouts in the immediate compound. Mm-hmm. Um, I cast locate object out of my journal. Yep. What are you um, looking for specifically? The coat that Saskia has been sure. wearing, the newest one. And if it's within a thousand feet, I should get a ping. Nothing. You wait. No signal. Nothing. She's gone? No, but actually, does anyone know where she is? She uh, didn't say anything to me. Do I see any sign us? of a struggle? No. Or make an investigation check. No. She probably went off for some... But there isn't really anywhere around here. 17. 17. You, you go through the room and everything looks collected. You, you can't really see any of your belongings. Any notes? No notes. Saskia's never actually run off. We made up the story about her running off to... I know, but she is, you know, she, she does like to fuck, so it's not exactly unreasonable. The, the... No, but she told us what was going on last time. Sorry, do we need to not be speaking? No, uh, there's no sign of a struggle. Um, the, no. bed, the bed is unmade. The windows are wide open. <coughs> um, the floor's a little bit wet from the rain. Seems like it's been left open a long time. If I had to estimate, I would say one point during the night, perhaps the storm, this window was opened. Maybe she just moved rooms. Wait, where's the code then? Given the lack of sort of markings around the door, it would appear that it hasn't had much use. One of two explanations. One, something crawled in through the window and took her, but we would see more sign of a struggle, so that's highly unlikely. Two, she left through the window, but considering, and I'm assuming we're not on the ground floor. No, no, you're about three floors up. You're quite high up. I sincerely doubt she could do such a thing unless someone has learned to fly. And, Alexi will check the bag, I still have the potion of flight. Do you? Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> but I assume you tell me. Yeah. What if the lightning ghost took her? Wait, but why would you she keep leave? saying lightning ghost like I should know what that is? What is a lightning ghost? I, 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 I woke a lightning up. Ghost. You saw a lightning ghost? Yeah, I woke up to a really, really, really loud bang, so I put my head out the window to see whether something had struck the temple, and there was a figure just at the edge of the compound, and then it got struck by lightning, <clears> and then it vanished. Right. Myla's gonna go sit in the corner. She didn't leave. (laughs) She didn't leave. Is it not wise to check the area in which this figure vanished? That is exactly what I'm thinking, Myla. Yeah? It... Could you take us to where you saw this lightning bolt? Yeah, I think so. We need to estimate how long it'll take to get there. The service is in three quarters of an hour, and I can't miss it. Um, it was just at the edge of the compound, right? So yeah, 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 yeah. You can get there in yeah. five minutes. Yeah. Cool. Uh, it's just, yeah. just there. I can. Um, oh, we'll, we should go down the stairs, right? Yes. Okay. Right. Um, Matron, we shall return in time for the service. Very good. Um, the robe will be prepared in your room. Thank you. Yes, of course. Um, best of luck. I do hope you find her. 
Um, if you need anything, please uh, ring this bell. She pulls a larger silver bell than what uh, from our game. Uh, how much time will I need for preparation before the I'd ceremony? say no more than 20 minutes. All right, so then we don't have too long. Thank you. Very good, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Milo will, like, hurry out. Do I have any idea what she's talking about with the rope? No. Cool. Oh, mm, make it a check. Maybe it's a girdle. <laughs> I will fuck you up. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not great. Um, yeah, history, 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 and 14. You assume it's something ceremonial. You don't know specifics. We're going to improvise today. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, but do we all get ropes? No, no, I think. Just you. I have no idea. Okay. At least you know that you're not going to be sacrificed. Yes. You get, you get free girdle. What is this girdle talk? A girdle is something that someone that's overweight uses to uh, compress around their stomach so they appear less overweight. Would you like uh, me to ask for a course instead? I will kill you. I don't think you will. We need to go. Yes. Right, uh, let's move. Alexi, you don't, you don't really think she left, though, do you? I can't ignore the evidence. Why would you leave? I don't know, but we have to see the... Well, this... <laughs> the lightning ghost. Well, where it was, perhaps that might hold some kind of evidence. Yeah. Mm, perhaps yeah. she left some money or items behind as well. What if? What if? These creepy people have her locked up in a basement in like behind a magic proof wall. No or signs something. of a struggle. And I if they drugged her. I couldn't see any signs of someone being forcibly removed, and even well, the, 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 take it from me, an unconscious body is particularly <laughs> difficult to move. I'll take your word for that one. He's not very good at moving them. But. That was one time, honestly. No one's found many of the others. At least not <laughs> while I've been in a city. Right. Oh, all right. Okay, um, Myla will yep. walk out and start heading towards the <coughs> spot where I saw cool. the... You, you find the it pretty easily. It's it's literally right right at the boundary. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it's the early morning. Your carriages are coming in with fresh bodies to be come through and, and, and blessed or, or cremated. Um, and as you're walking past, a you see a young human on a white horse galloping. Passed up, up to the gate with a small entourage, sort of behind as well. A young human that looks like that skin? <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, this young human has quite quite dark skin with uh, very thick ginger hair down down the shoulders as well. Sort of glances and sort of nods slightly to yourself as they carry on past. The others are humanoids, but they come past too fast for you to have any real indication of who of who they might be. Do you think they're chasing a snow elf? They better not be. You said humans like to chase snow elves. Oh. <clears throat> I like that. Okay. You arrive at the border, um, and if anyone would like to make an investigation check, um, uh, I will. Unless yeah, no one I else will. wants to jump in on it. I so well. we can do one with advantage, or we can do two individual rolls. Do one with advantage. Ever so kind of you. Um, that is a twenty-two. You are rolling well. Dirty twenty-two. Mm -hmm. That's right, baby. Seventeen so and an eighteen. The mud yeah. and the Boy. slop wraps up around your boots, but as you get, you see. Almost like the mud has been glassed, where lightning appears to have hit the ground. And you look down and you get right up close, and it's petrified. Two perfectly shaped boot prints. A bit smaller than you'd expect. And then what looks like black soot. You get down and smell it, and it smells smoky like it's burnt. Been burning for a long time. I like to see you just kind of puts his hand out and. Uh, so it traces the boot print. Is it of a familiar kind of size, or...? I think, yeah, you, you spend enough time around to recognize that this looks like Sasuke's shoe. Shoe size. Either uh, your lightning ghost is uh, of the exact same uh, boot size as Sasuke, or she came this way. Sasuke got struck by lightning? Saskia got kidnapped by a ghost. Um. N no, I think the ghost was Saskia. No. What? If if she had been struck by lightning, I am relatively certain we She'd would be, be finding. Dead. Yes. But where would she be now then? How has she disappeared? I don't know. It's gonna sort of like rub some of the ash. Yep. Kind of. I'm not sure. Do we have long enough for me to stay here for ten minutes? 
Uh, yeah, yes, I, I, I think so. You don't need to go prepare? Well, it's about like half an hour until the thing. You're running out of time. Uh, I will... You go prepare, I'll stay here and I'll come back once I'm done. Right. One of us should go with you. Alexia, I can help you. Activate, activate the protocol. I am a fantastic servant, and I have a servant servant on my head. Well, uh, yeah, yes, that, that's fair. Um, again, just my lord. Let's stick to that. Um, Don't call me let's... my lord. No need to call me my lord. <laughs> no, no. Just come on. Um, right, we'll 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 see you uh, in the service later. Uh, right. Uh, come. Uh, um, um, Alexia's gonna. Head this back place to creeps me out. I don't really want any of us to split off, so I'm just gonna stay here and. And be. But you wanted to go to the crypt. Whatever. Um. <laughs> I wanted to go to the crypt when I was bored in the middle of the night. Not when potentially someone could have kidnapped Saskia. And I don't know. I just told you I'd seen a lightning. I, anyway. What? Um, Myla's going to sit down next to it um, and kind of like put her hands on the ground and close her eyes and cast Detect Magic. Ritual cast to detect Ritual magic. Ritual cast detect magic. Very, very good. Um, yeah. And so you're trying to detect what specific sort? Um, so I am... Um, I think it just says like, I learn at school of, so yeah, I learn the school of magic if sure. there's any. Sure, sure, sure. But yeah. So you stop and you concentrate and you breathe and the soot rises up and in through your nose and you, you take it all in. Um, and you sense two things. Uh, you sense a very strong divine magic. Mm-hmm. <coughs> um, and you also sense uh, conjuration. It's both sort of like mixing and playing with each other a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like you, you, get, you, get a, you get a very strong sense of conjuration in amongst that, almost overpowering the divine. Like the divine's almost amplifying it a little bit more. Marla, Marla, I think we gotta go. What do you find? Oh, Marla. um, there's magic. Okay. Divine and sort of conjuration, lots of conjuration, lots of conjuration. Ah, uh, what? Uh, like let's to go, summon let's something? Go, let's go back. I, I, I don't, I don't really know it's not my thing. Yeah, no, m- me neither. <sighs> Oh, we'll ask the boys when we see them. Yeah, to hey. church. <laughs> Take me to church. Back in your room. Yep. A fine robe and from Fromwell from well is is there waiting as well. And it's you know the matron and the other workers you've seen, the acolytes and the other clerics have all been wearing very dusty, dirty, somewhat overused robes that are used day in day out when dealing with the dead. This is finally pressed and cleaned and cut to your side. A, a long flowing cloak with your arms are tucked underneath, adorned with dark feathers at the very bottom, each tipped with a white piece. A dark blue chain sits as well with a pristine symbol of the Raven Queen on the front of that as well. A small black beret sits, sits at the top to the side, um, as well as pressed trousers and a fine shirt and fresh white boots. Uh, well cast off, yes. Um, not, not to rush you, my lord, uh, but time is of the essence. Yes, that is quite all right. And Alexi will just look at this thing, look at the boy. Like, you may leave. Very good, sir. Do you, you do not require my assistance? I will. Uh, I, I, let, I, I'm going to put on the first couple of things and then you can... Oh, you are also an Evanood, sir. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Sorry, sir. Nothing walks out. Can you um, switch off your eyes for a moment, please? Sure. He turns them back in the head. <laughs> so many questions about that later. <laughs> and Alexi will turn around so he's not facing D22 and change. Slowly, D22's eyes just <laughs> half back looking. <laughs> <laughs> What does D22 see? <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to see what D22 sees. <laughs> Some quite holy, um, holy pink Y fronts. <laughs> <laughs> Just when the cotton's pulling away slightly from the fabric, which we've been worn too many times. We knew it. <laughs> Your girdle is here, sir. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, a, a young human woman. I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, I was told a seamstress was needed to create a, a girdle for you. 
Doing a pants and needling. I'm sorry. I uh, I will. I'll be back later. Who instructed you? I required such. Ah, uh, the young acolyte. I forgot his name. Uh, he was instructed by someone to come collect. Alexi, under his I meant, breath. No, I meant no offence, sir. I'm sorry. Mayway. <laughs> I'm very good. I'll leave you to it. She disappears. Uh, small, uh, small belt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. The cloak. Very good, sir. He gets a little step later yeah. Um, Would you mind helping? Um, he's, he's only 11. He's quite He's quite small. <laughs> sure. He yeah. hands you, hand you one side and mm-hmm. lifts it up with you. Alexi just uh, arms out. Yep. Yeah, they dress and they drop it. Mm-hmm. It's quite, it's quite fitted. It's fitted exactly to you. There's a good swoosh to it. That's a bit creepy. Yep. I'm gonna stand behind. I'm gonna stand behind Lexi and hold it almost like a bridesmaid's, um, <laughs> like a bride's dress. Brilliant. Ready when you are, sir. <laughs> Just fit on the beret. <laughs> <laughs> Just straight up the chain, like. This is a French religious ceremony now. Uh. Lead the way from well. Very good. Leads leads on through. Uh, what are you two doing? Hurrying at back at this point. To cool. Yeah, we're going to church. Home. Yeah. Cool. So you come into the hall and it's it's organised in traditional sort of church pews, two sort of rows. It looks like a very quick clean has been made in, in your in your presence. Um, the matron stands at the front in a much frumpier version of what what you are wearing, and there is a small, sourceless, uh, sourceless source of music uh, echoing around the chamber. Just a very sort of deep, dark, um, gothic uh, type of thing in the background. That'll do it. Um, yes, if you would all please be seated, and Master Castav, if you would not mind, thank you for blessing us. The service is about to begin. Um, he, she gestures to a large chair in the middle of the room, and, and you, our servants, may sit at your side or to the back, wherever you please. At the side. Uh, Alexi will just do a gesture and hopefully understanding that they understand that this means follow and will walk, hands kind of clasped behind him, walk, sit and settle onto the chair. Maybe we'll do a little spin on the spot because she thinks that's what that means and then follow <laughs> and stand next to him. D22? D22, yeah, just a tiny... <laughs> releases the, uh, the road back down. Myla? Um, Myla attempts to walk in what she thinks is a sort of sombre professional way, but in reality just looks like she's trying to take the piss out of D22. Um, <laughs> um, and then like goes and sits and is very kind of alert. So she'll try and sit like, yeah, next to Alexi as well. Very good, very good. Yeah, Alexi. At his shoulder. Yeah. yeah. When you are done with those boots, can I have them? No. <laughs> yeah, I got them. Uh, and Alexi will just look up at the, um, what's, what's her name? Uh, at the matron. Yes. You may begin. Thank you, my lord. Please be seated. Could you describe the positioning of, like, where is she in comparison Yeah, of course. To so, so the matron stands on a raised platform behind a dark ebony lectern. Um, to either side are some little senior clerics sitting in simple robes, seated at the sides. Um, and the congregation, if you can call it, is maybe made of about 15 to 20 people. Most aren't washed very well, and most of the pews are sort of half sort of crumbled. There's still a bit of rain and water and wind dripping in throughout. So they've done the best with what they sort of can. Um, but as Alexi sat dead in the center, and if you look at the shape of the floor, it's very much set that you are the very center of attention. You're, all of you are about 10 feet away, sort of spread out on sort of like the inner circle, looking up at the matron in front of you, and then the rest of the congregation is sitting sort of behind. Um, Mayway, make a perception check since you are actively wanting to know the position of things at the moment. I just wanted to know if I could make fun of Alexi's outfit without anyone else noticing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> exactly oh wait, negative two. <laughs> 17. 17, oh, that's a good, it's a good roll. So as, as you're sort of thinking of insults to make up at Alexi's robe, you do sort of notice in the back a human sort of slipping in, just not not sneaking or being anything. You Is know, it Saskia? It's not Saskia. No, uh, from what you can tell, like a young human male oh. slips in without trying to make much of a noise and just sort of stands at the back, watching on. Sure. The matron raises her hands. We are blessed to be in the presence of the keepers of Coldhaven, the watchers who led Death herself from the Greymist. May this omen of fortune 
deliver our temple from the many trials we have faced. In the decades past and the decades ahead, we are very blessed to be seen by the Lord cast up himself. If you would please acknowledge the Raven Queen, we will bestow our blessing. What would you like to do? Alexei will rise to his feet. Cool. Uh, is there a sort of an effigy to the Raven Queen? There is. There is a large statue. Yeah. Similar to what you saw before, behind behind the matron, which which looks down with the eyes barely peeking over with the hood uh, the front. He will stand, uh, sort of raise his chin to look at it, sink down to one knee, bow his head, say, "As Lord Carstav of Coldhaven, I." Acknowledge the Raven Queen. Very good. The matron waves her hands and two acolytes at the side start to crank and you see a large chain and you hear the grinding of stone on stone. And you look up into the roof and what would look expect to be a sunbeam coming down, you see instead pure darkness wiping across until a complete cone is covering you. No one can see in. You cannot see out. What you three see, though, is the Raven Queen's eyes on the statue suddenly go black and look. I need you to roll 2d20 for me, please. Uh, it's a 14 and a natural 1. So that's a 15 total. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> don't know don't if it's know. good or bad. I don't know. Yet. The light turns bright white. And you, for a moment, feel intense heat and pain soar across your body and suddenly vanish. Can I know your alignment, please? <laughs> and if you want to text it to me instead, that's also completely fine. We're going to lose two party members in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> what is it with Alexi and portals? I've got, I've got so many berry jokes that are never going to come to fruition. It's with you now. Thank you. Cool. The light sets. Now bright white, pure white. And suddenly it grows transparent and in an instant woof, spreads throughout the entire room. Suddenly. The a matron's eyes also go bright white. The matron stands and looks. Stand, Lord Castaf. You feel relief and you feel lighter. Just a little bit. Um, you gain permanently. What? An extra four hit points. What? Mm -hmm. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm. <laughs> Lord cast it. Uh, and sorry, what was the what was the other roll? Uh, it was a fourteen and a one, wasn't it? Yeah. Cool. You hear a whisper in your head. Jesus. <gasps> whisper. Ooh. We need to, yeah, uh, yeah. start talking. I, I, I need to not be listening to that. This guy's I, making as much noise I, as humanly possible. I want to laugh at the beret. I want to laugh at the outfit in general. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? Dead serious. Oh, my God. That's yeah, what you rolled. Okay. Okay, but no, shit. No, wait, it was a whisper. It was a whisper. You feel, you feel his voice yeah. whispering, I grant you. I grant you this one boon. Pray that you use it for the right reasons. And not those of your families. Oh. And the lights sitting at the edge <laughs> sinks back into the top. And the hole <laughs> closes by itself. And the room is silent. Alexis. Oh, sorry. Go sorry. on, go on, go on. He has gone from uh, like this kind of quite solemn face to just. Does he seem okay? No, not saying anything, just... He doesn't appear hurt. Unless well, we're going to take a break. Uh, <laughs> Tell us everything. Great face. This is a great face. <laughs> everything right, right, right now. Stay tuned, though. Uh, <laughs> David. We've got a lot to talk about. Fuck off. I can't. Yeah. Get fucked. Uh, get fucked. Uh, yeah, thanks so much. We'll be back in a minute. Uh, enjoy the break. You already have so really many nice. hit points. Yeah, I, 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 I can't. Greetings, peasants. Alexi Karstav here. I uh, hope you're enjoying watching me in the show. I'm doing a fantastic time this week. No, uh, we 
wanted to thank the people who all make the show so great. Oh, God's sake. Uh, yes, 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 there is, uh, there is Erin Gray who did a truly beautiful rendition of My Lovely Face. And everyone else. Uh, and, and them. Uh, there is Michael G- Gelf- Gelfi. I do this every time. Gelfi. Gelfi, yes. He does the, uh, the very heroic music that you see me being very handsome in. Finally, uh, who else do we have? We've got... There's Sticky Fingers, who does all the amazing maps that we get to fight on, or sometimes not fight on and immediately leave. Um, There's Loki Fellows, who also does amazing episode art, and she does all the show animations, which is, like, super, super talented. We also have that, uh, the the social media sorceress, uh, Tanya Garamani. What is it with people and titles? Honestly, it's so gauche. And uh, we also have Jeffa and Nate doing their uh, technical wizardry behind the scenes. There are links for absolutely everyone in the description so you should go check them out because they're all awesome and really so much more talented than we are Uh, i mean than you Welcome back. Uh, when we left our heroes, Alexia just completed a ritual under the matron with the Temple of the Raven Queen, but not before discovering Sathkir has vanished, and after a quick investigation, suddenly realizing vanished completely without a trace. We now come back to our heroes. Having just finished the ritual, Alexi stunned at the gifts he appears to have received with all the rest of the party and the congregation watches on. Lexi. That literally is just staring down on the ground, just like. If he doesn't move at some point, I will step forward. And, yeah, I like, was gonna say, and like. The whole crowd is like holding and waiting. Uh, the, <clears throat> the, the Raven Queen has spoken to me. The Raven Queen has spoken to him. Continue to do the work you are doing. Continue to do the work we are doing. She... She? She wants all to follow the path of good. She wants all to follow the path of good. May she be blessed. May she be blessed. And so should we all. Thank you, Lord Karstaff. Thank you. And with that, I dismiss you. Back to your duties. Peace be with you. Rest well. Without saying a word, Alexi just turns around and walks straight out. Cool. Ducklings. Yep. <laughs> uh, From well also. Yeah. <laughs> like, we'll just pace around a corner, try and find a sort of, like, quiet park where mm-hmm. it looks like not many people are going. If he sees that Frommel is following, sees these following, fine. Sees Frommel is following, just away. Uh, Frommel stops, yeah. turns, looks a little put out, but yeah. he stops. We'll just go around the corner and just push himself against the wall, slink down to his arse. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. What you happened? Okay? Uh, Everything alright? You hurt? Oh, no, yeah, I, I, I feel phenomenal. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I turn around and check that Fromwell isn't following. Make a perception check. Low. Low? Seven. Seven. I, couldn't, I can never tell a six or nine because of all the glitter in this you thing. You don't know. Fuck. Are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm fine. Um, I've never heard a god speak to me, that's odd. Would um, perhaps his lordship would like to go up to his room and rest? 
Dad, Lord Castaff needs his rest. Shall we go? Yes, yes. You we sound shall. like me. And I'd stick my arm under your armpit and just. Yep. Oh, oh, yep. Uh, very quickly, just kind of stands by himself. It's like, right, okay, um, yes, well, yes. Are you finished with those boots? You are not having the boots. Oh. Uh, on our way out, on our way out. Uh, uh, we can talk about that kind of stuff. Mm. In there, in the room, in the room. And yeah, he just will go back to the room. So as as you're walking as you're walking out, um, the human that passed you earlier on the on the horse is, hi, um, I, I I'm very very good, I'm um, from from the Arathus Temple. We were helping yesterday. I just wanted to say congratulations. Not many of us have been blessed um, as such. I square up next to Alexei. Yes. Uh, uh, apologies. My name my name is Joyra. Um, from 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 uh, from Vascott. Very good. I, I apologise. I did not mean to get in your way. You seem in a hurry. No, uh, Alexei of House Castell. What seems to be the, um, the the problem? Oh, not a problem. I just wanted to congratulate. Not many seem to have been touched by the divine, as you have. Ah, uh, thank you. What 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 brings you here? Um, I've come to investigate after the mess you dealt with yesterday. Uh, very good. Thank you. And you found my fallen brother. It appears. A great debt, a great debt indeed. Our condolences. Um, I still have the thing, don't I? Because I, I took his sort of holy symbol. Uh, yeah, you, you, you'd, yeah feasibly, then, you'd feasibly have it on you. Yeah, then Alexei will just offer it out. Oh, right, yes. She puts it away. Uh, seemed better than leaving it. No, 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 I appreciate it. Thank, thank you all for your service. Please do not let me keep you. I'll be seeing you around, potentially. Are you adventurers, heroes, servants? You're clearly not. Well, they're not really your servants, are they? Yes. I tip him a wink. Uh, Myla does like a. <laughs> no. Uh, very good. And she 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 bows a little, steps back, and please ca- carry on. No, I will with you to your quarters. Come along, my lord. Very we well. need to disrobe you. Mmm. Take those boots off and relax. <laughs> <laughs> to the room. <laughs> Uh, his clothes are still there, I presume. Yeah, yeah, I'm touched. What the hell is a never nude? <laughs> that I, boy was asking. Can, can you, can, can all of you kindly turn around while I change, please? Yeah, sure. of course. Right, thank Wait, you. Wait, why? Because I, I, I don't want you to be looking at me while I'm... We bathed together. Yes, but that was different. Everyone was undressed. It's 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 strange. We, if we I'm can undress at the same time. Would you like us to get undressed? No, 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 no. I, 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 and I, I just I, I, He's I, always I, undressed. I, 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 I am an always nude. <laughs> and that, that that that's your lifestyle choice, and I'm not here to judge. Um, I, I, I'm just maybe I'm, like shirts off the curve. Have her coat just <laughs> try and see if Alexi will blush. All right. I'm, I assume she's wearing something beneath. Yeah, yeah, no, she's just the first layer. <laughs> I've got it's leather just, armor. Yeah, no. So it's just like. <coughs> it's just like, all right, uh, Alexi, if you want us all to be naked, that's fine. Start uh, opening the I mean, the I didn't say off. anything about it. I'm just, I, I have to get down to my um, my, 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 my unmentionables. So I didn't, I didn't want to. Um, like, retie my leather. All, right, all right, all right, all right. You as well. <laughs> no, 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 turn around. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and Alexi will glancing back every five seconds if I quickly try and change. Sure. Alexi, I think that you should add the beret to your outfit as no, standard. I do not like it. I feel I, like it looks very jaunty I, on you. I, 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 um, and he's going to just like a change shirt. It's like, right, you, you may. Um, yeah, Wait, did you do up the V? Oh, no, no, no. It's, you it's, went very high up there, oh, I was concerned. No, no. <laughs> the, the V is still like. There is a good amount of chest <laughs> of V. Ew. Ew. It's, it's a lowercase V, but a V nonetheless. Right. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, so what happened? Are you okay? Oh yes, I'm actually fine. I feel remarkably better. Um, still a bit hungry, actually. Wouldn't mind food, but can I, can I, can I, can I check your? I, how do you feel? How does he feel? Make a medicine check. What? A what? <laughs> You're checking your health. Is make a medicine check. <laughs> Doesn't have a minus though. That's the question. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen. Seems healthy. Is like is he little, warmer than normal? Little, little clammy. Not not. Because he's not like hot blooded, is he? So no, I say Alexi probably in terms of blood runs a bit colder. Exactly. Than most so that's why I'm he's like, a little warmer than normal. But he's not. He's not sweating. He's not any. Did she turn you into normal. a real boy? 
Um, Are you a human now? Do you have a pulse? I mean, I, I always had a had a, had a pulse. We, My, yes, we. He does. Yeah. yeah. With a fifteen, you barely feel the odd thud against the fingers, and compared to your own, it's all right. It's about right. Uh, and he will just try the fangs. Nope, yeah. still, um, you know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. D22 takes his uh, moral compass out secretly and flicks it up just to do a double. <laughs> no, re- really. I, I, I don't. I don't think we need to. Uh, are you, are you actually doing a check? Did you eat Saskia? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Inside check. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You didn't eat Saskia. Daddy twenty. I like to see his time the truth. Um, you said the goddess spoke to you. Oh yes. Um, it was a whole thing. What did she say? Uh, her exact words were, "I give this to you for good, not for your family." Huh. What she give you? I'm not entirely certain, but I do feel different. I, 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 I imagine I will simply uh, know it when it you are happens. Glowing a little. Right. Not like no. Not like glowy, glowy. No. But you seem healthier. Uh, right. Thank you. I, I feel, feel a bit better. Um, well, not better as such. Just uh, you know. More. Yeah. Fuller of life. Uh, well, I guess you. But you're hungry. Yeah, well, yes, because I, I haven't eaten for a couple of days now, and so get a bit hungry. I mean, I wouldn't ask you to not eat for a couple of days. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh God. All right, um, characters, people, come. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, Fromwell walks in. Um, I wish to report that we found no sign of any disappearance of your friend. Uh, no sign of struggle, no sign of break, and no one has seen anything. I'm afraid she simply disappeared. Um, we I... will, of course, we double our efforts, but I, I don't know what to tell you. Please don't put me against the wall. Uh, no, no, you're you're quite all right. I apologize for losing my temper. So I did some investigation and may have some information that may be pertinent. Excellent. Thank you. Yes, sir, of course. He leaves. He's gone. That good? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Great. Um, uh, re- really well done. Good. I mean, I've been used to this all day, so. <laughs> Lord Caster. It's more the girdle reference I don't like. What? There's another. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Aww. Um, so I checked the area where the burn and the footprints was, and there was divine magic and also conjuration magic. A lot of conjuration magic. What does that mean? I. Yeah. Would I know sort of the typical spells attributed with conjuration? Make an arcana check. Are you proficient in arcana? I am. You can make an arcana check. Uh, that is a twenty-one. Dirty twenty-one. Yeah. You would. You would recognize. No, one naturally rolled twenty-one. <laughs> Sorry. No, you don't get to know anything. <laughs> you know what? Just for that. Don't be sarcastic <laughs> with the DM. Uh, the Raven Queen something back in your hand. It's like you know what? Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm taking back my hit points. Like it's giving them to Mayway. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you would you would recognize um, at least on the conjuration front with that role that conjuration often with with movement or teleportation is what that flags up as with with a, with a dirty twenty one. The um, divine you can't make sense of. Can I? I just said you can't. No. <laughs> uh, unless, unless you can give me a reason why you would. Uh, the other thing, I don't know how to say this. Yeah, that. Okay. Uh, divine, no idea. Um, I, I mean, uh, it, it, it could be uh, anything. Um, a, a lot of healing magic is particularly divine, so if, let's say, uh, some sort of... Uh, well, well, conjuration, you said that's the, the more prolific element, right? Yeah. The teleportation magic is uh, inherently of the conjuration school, therefore, uh, if you're seeing uh, a sudden bolt of lightning and then uh, as you've vanished, then it stands to reason that somehow our dear Saskia has either been lying to us or has magically learned how to teleport teleport herself via lightning. Ah. Uh, neither of those seem likely. But to clarify, if I may, you saw a figure. Yeah. There was a bolt of lightning. You looked out. You saw a figure. Yeah. There was another bolt of lightning, and the figure disappeared. Yes. 
There was a very, very, very loud clap of thunder, which woke me up. And then I went and looked out the window, and as I did, I saw a figure standing in that spot, and then a bolt of lightning struck them, and they disappeared. Was the figure showing any signs of distress before being hit by the lightning bolt? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, no, they were just standing there. It was only a few seconds, but they weren't, you know, uh, wacky, flailing, inflatable tube. Right, well, that would make a lot of sense if you, well, you're not going to flail if you're casting your own spell. Um, but did, did Saskia know magic? Oh. I didn't think Saskia knew magic. Oh, yes, she absolutely did. What? She never demonstrated any. Oh, she conjured light uh, yeah. one or two times. Uh. And my understanding, oh. that seemed, I... well, whenever yeah, we would I speak remember. of it, she never. Uh, hinted at any uh, magical education or uh, inbuilt uh, understanding. Therefore, it would beg to reason that such spells are in innate, uh, m much much like your ability to, to talk to uh, animals. Right. Or the fact that you can freeze things. Yeah, but that's yeah, just something that's, all our people can yeah. do. Right, but... But by that and logic. Oh, so you mean all of Saskia's people can do the light thing? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't. Wait, but know who's nothing. Saskia's people? Saskia's well, human. Again, I. Yeah, can all humans just do light things? Well, yes, but in the nicest way possible. I told you I was human. You that's don't think Saskia's human? No, not at all. Ah, huh. why not? Because I've had human, and that's not human. Wait, what? What is it then? She, like. Oh yes. Like. Yes. Oh. What, well, do you think I normally get numb in the tongue after I eat, have a human? I Probably depends on what they've been eating. Do not know. That, that, is, that is a perfectly that. valid response. Um, why, 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 why would you? Um, yes, she's not human. Oh. Hmm. Uh, now, she you, is a warforged too? Uh, no. Now, you see there's a bit of a gap between those two things. Uh, Blood, yes. Human, no. Okay. There are several um, iterations of uh, near humans that I'm aware of, but mm -hmm. uh, of the many, many versions, I, I, I could not. She's certainly not one of my people. I would know. Um, also, not a cast out. And you'd never tasted anything like that before? No. That was entirely unique, and now I'm rather sad that it probably won't happen again. That, that's why you're sad that she's gone? I will never know that kind of taste again. That was, de I, I mean, it was delicious. Alexi! A what? I mean, we're, we're, we're all, yes, also, you know, she's gone and that's, 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 that's. And well, you wanted one day to just, I, I need to stop doing well, that. I, I didn't, I did want it ruled out. She told you you weren't allowed to drink her. Yeah, yeah but then she volunteered. So, anyway, look, we're, we're, she left. Voluntarily. That, that is my prevailing theory. If the egg is gone and there's no signs of a struggle and there's evidence of teleportation magic, either she teleported herself or someone uh, appeared and she chose to go with them. I should mark her status as left. Uh, I, I would. I would say, actually, yes. Uh, missing. Missing. Missing might be. Because we, we we don't we don't know. None of you are going to leave, right? Uh, well, no, no, no. I, I, thanks to our conversation with that assassin, and uh, I now have to go and join Mayway in murdering Mr. Fury. Yes. Okay. So if we're all, you're not going to leave. No, okay. I have nowhere to go. Are you all right? Well, no. I'm just a little. Yeah, I'm fine. What do we do now? Can we leave now? Uh, yes, I think we can leave. What if she comes back looking for us? Maybe then we, 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 leave, we a leave a note? A note. All right. Did... Would you like to draw something up, what? Lord Kastav? Yeah. Shouldn't have my name on it, but yes. Alexi just looks out his journal, gets out the self-inking quill, and will just <laughs> start writing something. <sighs> Well, what should we do now? Did you want to go find your cousin? Oh, Abel. Yeah. Um, yes, but they implied that he was uh, headed toward Milford, and uh, we're yeah. going there anyway. Okay. So, um, 
I yeah. guess at least Saskia knows we're going to Milford, so she could come find yeah. us there. Yeah, she, could she might have just, yeah. you know, she might be back in a week. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, she might be back in a week. Well, very simple. Uh, we just, um, where, wherever we sort of stop, we uh, leave a, well, actually, no, that's probably a terrible idea. Um, we have to trust that she'll find us. We're not hard, we're, we're hardly subtle. <laughs> and really, like, if she doesn't want to hang, like, if she doesn't want to, you know, be with us to the point where she felt the need to leave in the middle of the night, we didn't really know her that well anyway. We, we could, maybe we could have done better to get to know her. Nah, it's fine. People want to leave, they're going to leave. I am detecting a new feeling. It feels like sad. From whom? The two of you. No, I'm fine. I'm sad. I'm worried. Maybe she needed to go for a greater purpose. Perhaps, but I, it's not something we're going to figure out standing here. Yeah, let's go get into a bar fight or something. Would you feel a lot better if I bought you many drinks? Yes. Excellent, right, then I we'll... I feel like I would feel better too, perhaps, if you gave me your boots. I did. I can have your boots? No, they are in... Will you keep the beret and wear it for me one time? No, I can't keep the beret. It's part of religious garb. That's All right. Drinks and a bar fight. Let's drinks go. and a bar fight. You wouldn't like it if someone took, you know, something of ours that was sacred to our people and, you know, removed it from where it was from, hypothetically. Good point. Yeah, define sacred. I spoke, uh, well, I didn't speak to a god. I had a thousand questions and that was over far too quickly for my tastes, but no, we're not, we're not doing that. You will treat this place with respect. Respect? Yes. No stealing from it, no taking anything. We leave it as we found it, if not better. What are the benefits of respect? Oh, um, if you respect things, then often you can get something out of it by people understanding that you have respected something and you get long-term gain. Ah. Down the line, I end up with more. Yes, it's an investment. Mmm. So I'll get the boots later. Potentially. Right. Um, I suppose, and um, Alexi will bring out the big bell. <laughs> yep, and ring it. <laughs> boom, 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 shit. Boom. The big bell. And big within bell. within about thirty seconds, you hear. You're right, more cost up. <laughs> we shall be departing. Right now. Uh, well, so I, soon. Yes, unless there is any other matters that need resolving here. Well, if, um, um, no, no, nothing. We can't handle ourselves. Um, I would. Wouldn't mind. A, a pair's able servant is downstairs claiming the money that you took. Um, he's come to collect, and uh, I, I pair seems to be misunderstanding. I, I was under the impression it was for us to use. Do, do we give it to the servant to take to Abel, or do we? Uh, no, kindly uh, place the servant in the uh, in one of the antechambers. Yes, uh, of course. Provide them with a, a jug of wine. Yes, and we'll join them shortly. Yes, of course. Um, very good. Um, Oh, what the hell. Uh, also, our, our people <clears throat> were cleaning the Jesus crypts. Jesus Christ. Um, it's, been, it's been a day. Um, yes, um, the monstrosity you dealt with appeared to be reforming. Uh, now, it's dealt with, we burnt it, but whatever happened, the temple appears to have been desecrated, allowing things to sort of not die or sort of come back to life a little bit. Um, we've dealt with it, and our, our mutual friend, I believe you met Joira, Oh yeah, the, the mm -hmm. young cleric. Ah uh, yes, the from Vescott. Yes, 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 from Vescott. Um, she's come to check in, but so far nothing. Just, just wanted to flag that. Should any other temples be experiencing something similar, I would appreciate you giving it your full attention. If we come across any other temples, we shall drop in. Of course, of course. Um, there is 
a sample if you would like it. Please. Yes, of course, I will make sure that our young Fromwell will bring it to you. Um, good. Right, uh, we shall prepare. Uh, wh- where are you headed? Uh, we are in the process of deciding, perhaps toward Milford. Very good. Uh, well, let me know if you need transport or anything. It will be best of service, but we'll take care of that now. Thank you. She and and walks out. We're going to do a lot of questioning. May where you're particularly good with people. Would you like to... Uh, Oh, aren't you going to eat him? Yeah, would you like me to turn into a bear or a panther? Well, I was thinking that um, it's probably in our best interest if you uh, question this individual, and I want you keeping an eye out to make sure that, uh, you know, he's not, he's not lying or, or anything like that. Um, All right, what do you want to know? Well, we need to find out where Abel is. This is someone who has been taking this place's money, leaving it completely bereft from falling apart. And someone who's going against the, well, what's right? What? Uh, it, it, what's right? Yes, it, this, this this place is falling apart, and I have a cousin, however distant, who is exacerbating the problem by t- t- taking all of the, the money. It's what the Raven Queen said, right? Is we've got to do good here. So yeah, no, I just mm. I don't I don't know if I've ever heard you say no. Nope. Talk about what's right. You did not seem so keen on the place when we first arrived. Now you seem a little bit more keen. Uh, well, it, it... So you don't just want to eat him? No, that would, that would be... I mean, you You're know... You're hungry. I, I am. I'm very hungry. Please don't remind and me. And we need to throw off your brother, cousin, brother? Uh, yes, but well, maybe, well, one thing at a time. We, we need the information from before. If we eat him, oh. then the cousin will know that there's a cast of around mm. and we want Alexi to keep a low profile. Good point. Good point. Nah. He can go missing without a trace later, but let's get some answers first. Okay. Can we'll get him on the, the road with us later. Yes. <laughs> right. Well, let's go. Okay. All right. I like to sort of feel cope sure. all of it. Do you want to do like this is an official uh, interview kind of thing, or should I go in ahead and pretend to be a pissed off servant, just killing time and trying to see if I can get him talking that way? I trust your judgment. Mm. I don't know, I'm not feeling my most charismatic today, but I can try. I can try and help you. Yeah, why not? Perhaps we could slap him around. We Uh, could. We'll we'll consider that plan B. After we've tried this thing. All right, let's do this. E22 ever try and make himself look bigger? Yeah. <laughs> 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 do, the, do the guns thing, yeah. We... <laughs> <laughs> so Frommel comes up and he takes you down to the antechamber yeah. where the servant is, is waiting. And, uh, are you all walking in together? What, what's, how's this going down? Um, Me and my love getting the room ready for you, sir? Or... Uh, no, no, we'll, we'll go in. Um, you stand back, look as sort of menacing as you possibly can. Um, I'll observe and just kind of stare um, and lead the questioning and keep an eye on any sort of tells or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I'll also give you a hand. So you're all going to be in the room together? Am I being nice or am I being mean? Uh, Be nice. Yes. Okay. Let's let's go in trying to be as... All right, all right. I can be nice. Let's attempt diplomacy before we outright threaten. So you walk in, and the chamber is largely <sighs> functional. There's a bit of storage which has been quickly pushed to the side. A nice chair set in the middle with a, with a table, a jug of wine and a glass, completely untouched. Uh, the servant, a uh, young, young male, light, light blonde hair, a little bit shorter, a little bit rounder around the waist. Quite tight breeches, is sort of pacing around impatiently. Um, Myla is um, going to meet go, greetings, and cast charm person. Okay. Hi, what is, honey. What is the save on that then, please? Uh, that is a wisdom save, DC 15. DC 15. Cool. Looks like you're not me either. Always helps if someone cares. Uh, I rolled a natural 15, so Ooh. I'm afraid that fails. Curses. Hi, honey. What the fuck was that? Pardon me? Oh, we have that. Your servant just tried to chuck. 
he makes eye contact straight with you. Excuse me, sir, what are you doing here? How did you get here so quickly? What do you mean? Uh, well, we last heard you're on Coldhaven a week ago. Oh, what are you doing in these in these depths? I'm sorry, honey. Over here. Hi. Who do you think you were addressing right now? Uh, Lord, you are addressing the Lord, Lord directly? Yes. Uh, Did my, he give my, you permission my... to address him directly? <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi doesn't do that. <laughs> no, ma'am. Um, Lord Castoff. You, you Lord, think that Lord he Alexi Castoff. Yes. Am I? Am I mistaken? I was just. Do you surprised. think that he that any Castaff comes Make in it. with an entourage, without purpose? No, ma'am. Please have a seat. Drink some wine if you feel like it. He says, I'll make an intimidation check. Guidance. Oh, it's all summer. <laughs> um, what a, is it? A verbal somatic? I uh, no, I can just, I can, I just, sort of, um, <coughs> as she like walks past, I'll just gently like smack me on the booty. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm, I can listen to st- it's not going to be good. Um, nine. Nine. <laughs> I have a plus four, but I rolled a three. Oh, I'm sorry. With with respect, um, my master, Abel Kastov, would want some answers, and I don't think he would believe me if I said Lord oh. Alexei Kastov was here in the flesh. I would be whipped to pieces, so I would ask, excuse me, sir, how did you get here so quickly? Were you not in Coldhaven not a week and a half ago? I assure you, you will get your answers. But we have our questions he's first. He's not even looking at you. He's, he's looking directly at your face. Where is my cousin? I believe Green Basin, sir. Howdy, start having a bit of a party. Why has he not been doing his duty? I mean... What duty is there to take? It's a decrepit old place. Come on, you you know how it goes, sir. We we like the fun life. I'm just here to collect his purse, throw a couple of copper towards the running of this place, and keep the old thing alive. Just like it's the right thing to do. Your name? Uh my my name, sir. Um, I I don't know if I should. You. <laughs> I apologize, there seems to have been a slight misunderstanding. You assumed that I was asking it. Vidor, my lord. Now, Vidor. Nice. V- yes. <laughs> you will answer all of my associate's questions. Should I decide not to kill you, you may leave. When I, I apologize, I don't understand why we're suddenly dealing with. I pour wine into the glass. Why am I being threatened with death? <sighs> why is there a buff automaton in the corner? <laughs> your demeanor displeases me. I find your disposition <laughs> arrogant and unforgiving. No, hang on. I no, no, let, let's. No, you're not. You can't be Lord Castor. Lord Castor isn't cold here. Well, cast I was in cold and you were an imposter. <laughs> no, this is, you've had some mage try to charm me. Some, I mean, I'll admit, traveling with Phil Varel is quite impressive and you clearly have money, but you, you cannot understand the pedigree of my Lord Abel. No, no, I won't listen to this. Be off with you, please, before I get the guard down here and, and reveal you for what you are. I backhand him with the signet ring hand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the signet ring comes out again! Drink! <laughs> go, 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 go. Make an attack roll, please. <laughs> Mayway has drunk two glasses of wine, by the way, in this time. <laughs> Nat Natural 20! Oh, wowza. Roll 2d4 <laughs> plus your strength modifier. <laughs> so it's just 2d4. <laughs> uh, Ooh, but seven. they're good. Seven. <laughs> You smack him and the, it catches across his face and actually catches on in his eye, eye and like rips his eyes. Oh, fuck! <laughs> now, if you ever consider doubting why oh. again, simply press you your hand. Bastard! Oh, Who what was that? Who the fuck do you think you are? Help! Help! I'm going to put my hand over one <laughs> hand over the mouth and then in the shoulder into the chair. <laughs> All right. Now, didn't we just ask Blinded you to me, sit you down? You animal! Eh, he'll be fine. Oh. What do you 
god! Right. Take your hand, pass it um, where the signet ring has just hit you. Yes, yes. And feel the insignia. <laughs> now, question who I am again. Your ring doesn't even have a ruby in it, you pretentious ass. I mean, he is if lying. I die for this, I die for this, but you are not a. No. He's not wrong about the ruby part. He's not wrong about the ruby part, and honestly, I do miss it every day. Can I just get a lay out of the room, please? Uh, well, Alexi has just slapped him in the face, yep. so he is like... If so we're in the centre of the room, the room's about 20 by 20, it's yep. quite a small space. Uh, if he's in the sort of table, um, sat there, Alexi would be on his right-hand side. Okay. Um, isn't D22 kind of like? D22 pressed up against the door. So you're blocking the arms, door. Arms crossed, okay. looking, at, cool. looking at him, sitting. I'm assuming Myla is between Alexi and um, Mayway because she's been sort of like talking to you and then also well, like guidancing you. So. No, Mayway's probably not. Mayway's oh, behind the guy because she mm. put him in the chair. <laughs> yeah, so if but I only so one hand like, on him, oh, yeah. the other hand is holding a half filled glass of wine. <laughs> How many have you had? Mm -mm. Uh, two. This is two. <laughs> this is this is 2.5 okay. that I'm holding right now. So just just so we've got a visual. Oh. Oh no 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 no. It's, it's just it's just it's more for it's more for me. We're not we're not jumping on combat. Don't worry. I'm just I am just. <laughs> yeah, I mean it would end super fast. Yeah, that's right. Oh, would it? As you were. <sighs> now, honey, would you like some wine before this goes any further? And I just put the glass down in front of him. <sighs> he takes it, mm. dips his hand, and tries to like clean up. Some of the blood that's still like gushing. Shall I clean him up? No. Okay. And you, you claim to know the cast dad so well. Did you really think that he wasn't gonna hurt you if you yelled and gave him some smack? Come on. Clearly, you're desperate to be one of us, and I admire your gumption. Excuse me. Us. Yes, all of you. You're not. Yeah, I don't believe it. Kill me if you must. I don't believe it. In you're fact, not a caster. No, I'm not. But I know what they are. <laughs> and what are they? They are. Powerful. And smart. And Ooh. frankly a bit dangerous. And I wouldn't cross them if I were you. In what way? Ah, oh, they'll kill you for knowing too much about them. Do you know too much? I know things. I know that Abel likes to drink. I know he likes to gamble. I know he likes to party. And I know he likes where to do it. And I know he has the money and the resources which you clearly lack. Look at you in a in basement of an old temple. Ha. Oh. When did you last see Alexi Kastov? Myself, personally? Yeah. Oh, maybe once at a larger gathering. That was a few years ago now. So how do you know he's in Coldhaven right now? Well, we've received the updates when the uh, duchy money comes through. The letters what? that were attached to the money that came through, which the money which I'm apparently not entitled to. No, afraid not. We gave it to the church this time. Why would you do that, you blithering idiot? That's for us. Do so, you, if you want to be a Kastov, you need to know how... Ugh. So Abel's pardon in Greenhaven. What else do you want to know? Green Basin. Whatever. Just get good help. So can I can I have it? <laughs> I mean, this weirdly does work out rather well. As mu as tempted as I am to correct him in the most obvious way. Mm -hmm. You're right. Oh, oh, uh, we. Yes, we we're clearly pretending to be of House Carstaff. Oh well, foiled again. Um, I we... never even knew that the cast axe had another friend. In friend. all fairness, though, I am hungry, and if he's dead anyway. <sighs> Myla's going to grin at him at that. <laughs> what does he mean, hungry? There's no food, there's only wine. Oh, I know uh, so much about the cast axe. Oh, I know, it's just so it's... Um, Oh, they're so smart and dangerous. Yeah, they are very dangerous. When was the last time you saw Abel? Uh, yesterday. Uh, geographically, would I know where Green Basin is? Uh, make a history check. History! Uh, 21. 21. Dirty. Dirty? <laughs> dirty 22s, Filthy. guys. We're falling, we're falling short. Sorry, One shot. <laughs> you'd, know, you'd know a relation here. It's, it's east a few days. So while Milford is northeast, it's more. It's an eastern direction from here on horseback. You saw him yesterday? Yes. So he can't be in Greenhaven. Green Basin. Green Basin. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. He was travelling to Green Basin from Milford and he sent me down here to collect his duchy's money. Insight check. 
Go for it. Um, well, <laughs> no, that's no. happening. Um, when you saw, you said you saw Alexi cast over to party. Yeah, that doesn't sound like Alexi, does no, it? Really, very much really doesn't. doesn't sound like Alexi. Well, it was a larger one. The whole family was there. It was a. Oh, was he enjoying himself? Well, no, he always looks miserable. Okay, that you know what? You've got that one down. Yeah. I'll give you that. It probably was. Actually, I think I remember that one. <laughs> no, you've got too much color in your cheeks. The makeup didn't quite work. You're glowing a little bit. <laughs> I you mean, know it, what? it would be flattering if yeah. not for. Um, he's, no, 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 no he's... I remember that one because uh, Leandra had just slapped me in the face. I... Vidor, we really must commend you. You've caught us. Oh, yes, I'm quite good. You are. Drat. I can't believe we were caught by a servant. Yeah, we must really fix that makeup on you. Sorry, did you say it was a little too glowy? No. We've been working so. This has been working so well everywhere we go. I can't believe it. Oh, I'm so, I'm so angry with myself. All right, what do you want? You discovered us. Want to live? I want to know where you got that. That's interesting. And I'd like, <laughs> not the door, you. <laughs> mm. I mean, we're Phil Varel. Yeah, so. He's from the van. Unless you think that this is also makeup. No. No? No. So you, so we're who we say we are. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. Maybe it's some Phil Varelian plot. I don't know. I've never really met your kind before. Two at the same time, though. Yes, this... Mm. Yeah, apparently it's a little rare. Mm-hmm. And suddenly, Mm-mm. he throws himself from the seat. He's going to try and push past you, and he's going to run for the door. I get a reaction from both of you to try and grab him. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, the hello. Door, also, <laughs> literally standing behind him, Sentinel. Drinking. Sentinel? Uh, yeah, with disadvantage because you're drinking. A two Ooh. and a half glasses you of wine. Sentinel with disadvantage because you're drinking. You What's are the mean. check? What's the check? Uh, I need to check his AC. Can't stab him through the leg, can I? It was after being grappled. Uh, <sighs> both terrible, DC I miss. 12. AC is 12. To hit. Okay. Um, is he pushing past me as well, or just to let? Uh, well, like, it's it's a quick one, so it's just fifteen. Fifteen. Cool. Cool. As soon as he. No. Eight. Eight. Okay. <laughs> You're just like. Hmm. <laughs> Manway is finishing his swig, and he, he looked like he was going for it. But as soon as he gets up, you just grab him, push him back down. Fuck. Kill me now. Uh, not here. We wouldn't want to ruin the nice decor. We'll walk out for a bit, and then. I pour another glass of wine. Uh, maybe you've had enough. <laughs> I put the glass down. <laughs> Do you want some wine? I've still got this glass. No, but there's only one glass, so I took it back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just, just downs it. Mm. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. It is a good wine. Church wine. Just tell me who you are. At least, at least there, if I'm clearly about to die. I... When we're out of here. I promise I'll tell you everything. Farewell. Right, well, shall we? I suppose so. Are you uh, sure you don't want me to fix his face up? Uh, no, no, it's quite alright. Okay. It'll be fine. Okay, the church would think it's weird? Uh, well, considering how Abel has been forsaking his duty, and I've come here to fix it. And they were all pretty scared of him when we got here, so... That's much and out. I have now spoken with the Raven Queen. Mmm. Why don't we just kill him in here? I'm confused. Oh, because then we have They'd to, have to clean up and everything. And we have to, I don't want... They, they've got enough on their plate, and I don't want to... You have to explain. And he could come back from the dead as well, because they've got the weird oh, thing happening here. Stop. He's thinking about other people. <laughs> You're right, I am. I'm doing that a lot today. It's funny. All right, shall we? Let's go! Come on, Vidor. Woo! <laughs> I open the door. It's Vidor. In a All right. slightly off... <laughs> off make, make, make a con save. It's only three girls. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're not yet. <laughs> this guy's going after two. Really? <laughs> I suppose it has been about two minutes. Bitch, my Raven hit dice is a D10. Is, is strong stuff. It's, yeah. it's communion wine, so it's been sitting there for a while. You know, really. <laughs> so yeah, like Vidor wa- walks and like what? What's the walking order? Like how? Uh, got about this. I'll Alex, go on in front, like, one side of him. Yeah. Yeah. Are you like restraining him or are you? Oh him yeah. Walking? Oh okay, yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Mm. In so front, get, just kind of. Okay. Get to the top of the matron is. Oh, is everything okay? Everything is great. And then we are leaving with this guy. Mm. Everything is great. Mm-hmm. Make a deception check. Oh. Because he's bleeding and he's missing an eye. 
I mean, <laughs> I, I don't trust my normal when Mei Wei dies, so the Echo dice is going to come up. Oh. Hey. Ah, natural 20. Hey. How do you deceive the matron? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I know the plus plus now, but plus twenty two. Twenty two. Natural twenty two. <laughs> <laughs> um. He's just quietly sobbing. I'm sure he's okay. When those forsake the Raven Queen, they must be g- given right. their penance. So you're okay. Yes. Well, my child, she'll find a place for you yet. Godspeed, may the matron keep you. Um, I shall have my people bring your bags down. Yes, thank you. We shall uh, meet you out the front gate mm-hmm. shortly. Mm-hmm. We're just going to kindly see this one on his way. Very good. Uh, do you know where you're headed yet? <laughs> to Milford. To Milford. Would you like a cart, or are you going to continue on horseback or foot? We haven't got much in the way of horses, but we could probably give you a, an oxen cart for to take at your leisure. Sure. Sounds fun. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Well, how thank will we get you. it back to you? Oh, not a bother. Thank you, Michelle. Of if course. you could have our things uh, on it and prepared, mm-hmm. we'll be back shortly. Yeah. And she sends she sends people off, and they go and they go about that. Great. And you uh, take Vidor out the front. Yeah, uh, to the nearest sort of like forested area, <laughs> if there is one. Just want to be like out of sight. Right, right. So you're leading him. So, so the four of you. Yep. And this sobbing <laughs> yep. man. Yep. Bleeding from his face. Absolutely. Uh, one of us should stay here and wait and pick up the cart and come no, and swoop around for the others. They're, they're going to back. get all our things, put them in the cart, and then we're going to come back and get it and go. Mm. Yes, but maybe one of us picks up the cart and drives it away to get the rest out so that you don't suspiciously come back minus a person. Well, oh, that's actually a good idea. I think they know we're going to come back minus a person. Oh, they're going to bring our stuff down, put it in a cart, and I will drive it to wherever you guys are. Okay. All right, we'll see you um, up the road a, bit. a little bit up the road. Yep. Excellent. All right. All right. Cool. Don't get in trouble. Huh. Hmm. That was not reassuring. Should we leave her? Hey, can I have some more of that wine? Oh, God. <laughs> of, of course. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. You're thinking that she shouldn't be on her own. Just go. I've got plenty of people to talk to. Right, then? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think she's going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's the matron I worry for. Yeah. Right. Uh, as you guys walk away, you just hear, so did you ever abandon anyone in the middle of the night with no warning? <laughs> Funny story, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and you take Vito there out of the forest. <laughs> uh, he's, he's crying. Tears on one side, blood on the other. Cool. No. So now you're scared for your life. It's very real. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Out of interest, hypothetically, say this was Alexi Kastov, um, what would he do to you if you had doubted who he was? Probably experimented on me a little bit. I, I hear he, he likes his books. He does. He is remarkably well-researched, this man. I, I heard he was looking up fairy tales and nonsense there. Oh, I don't like him anymore. <laughs> like, for a second there, I was going to let him live. You did say one of your favourite books was about fairy tales and not nonsense, but was something... Can we just get on with this, please? I'm, 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 I'm... So, so, should we experiment on him? I, I, no, I'm just going to um, kill him and then I'll drain what I can and put in the flask. Okay, that makes sense. Right. Before you kill him, I would like to know why you find me interesting. I've not seen a warforged like you at all. You've never seen someone like me before? Not, no, I've seen a Warforged before, but mm-hmm. there's one or two that Abel keeps around. But really? Not, not like you, yes, yes, but bigger, more for protection. Have you seen how big I am? <laughs> you mean the really big, clunky, bush, 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 bush ones. Ah. Mm. We have a lot of them where I'm from. But they don't speak either, they sort of just nod. Mm-hmm. Basic messaging, common through the head sometimes. Yes, and Abel has some of these. Oh. Would you like to... Go and see them. Processing. I would love to see them. Well, why, why don't we go there after Milford? Mm. Yeah, just T twenty C zones out a bit. The corners of his mouth turn up and the <laughs> eyes turn green. Just imagining how that would look. <laughs> yes. Well, good. I, I, I can understand how you must want to be around your own people. Uh, yeah, we'll 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 do that then. 
Thank you so much. You may kill him now. <clears throat> Even for me, that was chilly. Um, <laughs> the compass is deep in the red. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else we want to try and get out of him? Useful uh, stuff about what's going on with your family at the moment? What is the news from Coldhaven? Business as usual. Alexi Karstav is very much still in the library, yes. not paying attention to anyone. He doesn't get out much, but yes. I believe he signed one of the uh, recent duchy letters that came through uh, about a month ago. Did you used to sign any of the letters? Uh, I mean, not very many. I was. You, every now and then you would just to send out the fund. It was a thing that you did. Yeah. You know, uh, basic orders. Um, keep doing what you're doing, bring in the money, things like that. So your family are pretending... That I'm still that there. That you're still there. Well, must keep appearances. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm aware that Mei Wei is on her own. I do, you know, yeah, no, you make a good that. point, and yep. F.A. will start to struggle soon. Um. <laughs> yes. Well, and just looking at him, the fangs will start to appear. All right. Uh, he's going to attempt to break and run. Uh, I'm like still holding on to him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you both? So who's who's holding him at the moment? Definitely me. Just me. you. All right. So post transition. No, 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 as well. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, all right. Can I get strength checks from both of you, please, combined? Nineteen. God, you are rolling. So good Five today. It's all right. I'm here to counter that with a six. Twenty-five. <laughs> So I've got to roll a natural 20, basically. Get that mat juju. 13, no. <laughs> <laughs> he gets up. Goes <laughs> down. Is that a reaction to the fangs? Take an inside check. Oh, can I do that as well? 17. <laughs> 17 as well. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he looks shocked. And his face goes very pale, and he's he's wriggling and trying to get away from you. I did tell you. Yeah, we we did warn you. He's definitely Alexi Kastov. You're fucked up. Alexi Kastov's a vampire. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's a little more complicated than that. And <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, you can get your fill. And uh, yes. Re. I'm not sure what the flask. The it's, the flask. it's completely clean, but it's at zero. Okay, well you can you can refill as well. I'll look at that. That's fine. Could I pick his pockets? Absolutely. <laughs> pick his pockets. I've had a sudden worrying thought. Mm. What if Abel can could see through his head? Oh. Well, I suppose it's a bit late to say I'm coming for him then. Mm. Oh well. I guess he knows now. Well, I mean, you know, it's. Also, I assume your family are Shit. closed ranks enough to even if Abel was like, oh, Alexi Kostev's coming after me, they'd be like, no, he's not, he's in the library. Difficult to, to say. To um, would you, could you do some uh, around, can you shift some of the undergrowth and make that disappear? I can do my best. Great. Um, just for, out of precaution, and uh, Alexi's going to draw a dagger and just kind of like, Cut around the neck. Okay. Uh, try and make it look Just like he's like been, yeah, slash it. and get the fang marks. Sure, sure. Since D22 is taking his money, theoretically should just look like a robbery. So uh, I need you to make a medicine check. You find in his pockets, you find about 25 silver Lovely. Um, in a mix of silver and copper coins. Uh, you find quite a fine compass. Ooh, um, you find like a, a pretty standard dagger. His clothes are ruined by the blood, both from his eye and from the from the bite, um, and quite a nice vial of perfume as oh. well, which matches the scent that he also had. Mm. Like he's, he's quite a fine servant; he keeps good company. He tries to keep up appearances. Um, no way. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, you you manage to pretty pretty evenly. You make a bit of, a little bit of a mess, and at one point, blood goes and you manage to in the mouth, but <laughs> like one of those fountains. <laughs> quite happily, it's a bit off the bite. Great. Great, you have a chunk of a man's neck. Cool. Um, I'll try and hide him. All right, uh, nature. Or oh, survival, sorry, survival. <laughs> Covering the bases. 
Oh, that is very good. Nice. 23. 23. Dirty 23. Like, nearby, um, there's a big, large tree with a hollow and a couple of bushes. You manage to, like, hide him and, like, press him up on the inside, yeah. pack in the dirt. Do you want me to hide him well, or do you want me to hide him in a way that looks like robbers have done it? Yes. Robbers have done yes, okay. they've, they've it? Yes, they've tried hard. With that, like, score, can I kind of, like, make it... Yeah, you can make it look like an amateur job. Yes. So it's out of the way, but, like, in a rushed sort of sort of way. So if someone came along, it didn't look like it was a, an assassination. Cool. There you go. Well then, <laughs> let's go. Why am I so much better than you at this? You said you've been doing this for hundreds of years. Well, uh, no, no. Um, really, c- closer to uh, six, six months, more, more or less. Um, and I, I move around a lot. Right. Alexi. Yes. Did you grow up with Warforged servants? Oh, um, did I? No. No, no, no. We, um, we, we never had uh, your people. Ah, I am the first Warforged you have met. Uh, yes, well, I mean, okay, could you, could you not tell? Why? <laughs> uh, yes, you're you're you are the, the first, mm. uh, and you know I, I, I would like to consider us friends. Yes, excellent. Just a couple of lads shooting the shit, right? Um, <laughs> what a throwback! Let's uh, let's let's head back, and we'll. Uh, at a Milford. Yeah. I did promise Mayway several drinks and a fight. I'm going to regret that. Um, while we're like walking back, um, Maya's just going to sort of. Um, have you met other Warforged? Never. No. Huh. If I'm honest, I did not realise that I was a Warforged until I met all of you. And people started calling you one. This is a new term to me. Mm. Mm. I feel like you could probably, in that case, given you seem to be pretty unique, decide what you want to be called. Mm. If you want to be a Warforged, fine. If you want to be something new, probably makes sense. Mm-hmm. You know I said I knew somewhere called Discmith? Yes. There's a shop in my hometown. Is there really? Mm-hmm. Dismith? Mm-hmm. You have been there? Yeah, loads. It's next to my family's. Hmm. Have you owned something like me before? Mm, no, we didn't own, we're not, it seems like you have to be pretty wealthy to have a war forged. Mm-hmm. We never owned one. We, you know, they came through the town a lot because they, they're there for the protection. We get the big clunky ones like he was talking about. Clunky ones, how, what do clunky ones look like? Uh, they're just huge and slow and quite aggressive. Ah. When provoked. Provoked? Yeah. Do they like to steal? No. If someone steals, that's when they get aggressive towards mm. the person who did the stealing. Mm. I've never heard of a Warforged stealing. You mentioned your town as being Thilderdo. <laughs> Thilderdo. Thilderdo. Ah. Have you ever met a person called Aiden? Have I ever met a person called Aiden? Make a history check. God, what is my... Make a proficient history check. Uh, Ooh. Okay, so I'm not proficient, so what does that... that So add your proficiency bonus anyway. Okay, cool. Well, I rolled a natural one, so it (laughs) doesn't matter. Not once. You've never even heard the name, let alone someone called that. No, I, no, I never met anyone called Aiden. I, I wasn't um, that involved in society too much. So unless he was sort of my age. No. Or a ranger. No. Then I probably wouldn't know him unless he was one of my family. Okay, no harm done. How do you know an Aiden? Aiden is the most important person in my life, previously and now. Aiden is who I would consider a father. Oh, okay. So he's Aiden DeSmith, or...? Aiden DeSmith. You know an Aiden (laughs) DeSmith? No, is that what his name is? Aiden DeSmith, correct. Okay. Did, yeah, do I know the name of the, of who, I assume I know the name of the person who ran the shop, the DeSmith shop. Oh, the DeSmith shop? 
Um, I think I do, but I can't remember where the notes are. Also, how much of this can I hear? <laughs> Make a perception check if you want to find out. Also, am I rocking up with a cart with two oxen pulling it? Yeah. We're nailing it today. 18. Jesus, God mate. damn. I know. Got some you are, you're doing juju. very well. Uh, uh, it is run by... Actually, no. I'm going to just um, reverse, for, for the sake of confusion, reverse back up on an answer. Some of my bolts are a bit inaccurate today. And my background might be a bit messy. <laughs> Aiden's last name was not Bismith yeah. in my database. Yeah. Bismith uh, is the name of the manufacturer that is projected in the back of my head, hence why this information can be blurry sometimes. Okay. This Sorry, week, I, I can... got my own age wrong. <laughs> 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 Professionals, <laughs> professional actors. This, uh, <laughs> this, uh, this myth is what I would describe as my genetical parent and where my parts and core are from. Right, okay. So the, the owner of the Dismith shop um, was an older, an older film around, probably, probably like, Mid to late 500s, I'm by the name of Toleth. Cool. Toleth per week. Cool. Toleth per week's the one who has the shop. Mm. We used to try and steal bits from him. Mm. We succeeded quite mm. a lot. He's very old, very slow. Mm. <laughs> we should talk more about stealing. <laughs> uh, all the young ones do it around Fildaro because, yeah. If you if you manage to get something really big, then that's when the Warforged come after you, and then it's funny because your parents get in trouble. And Ooh. every now and then they'd get really cross and break down a door. Wow. Interesting. It is interesting learning about each other. Mm-hmm. Triangles just born. Do you have many stone giants? Where you are from? Do we have any stone giants in around? I guess around in the desert. Maybe, or? Not that we'll come to Fildoro, no. Yeah. Mm. Mm, not that come that close to Fildoro. We patrol all of the woods and the border to make sure that nothing really comes close. Interesting. It sounds like we have very different lives. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Why do you ask about stone giants? Stone giants are scum! Right. <laughs> right, why? Stone giants are the enemy. I've never. I don't know anything about them. So why why are they bad? Um, stone giants do not like things like myself or the company that I keep. They are not to be trusted in business or life. The company. So they won't like us. Uh, stone giants are mean in general, huh. but they particularly will not like me. Ah. Hmm. I wonder why. I like you. So. Thank you. Yeah. Seems weird that something wouldn't like you. I like you too. Aww. I consider us to be mates. Yeah. 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 Do you think Alexi is different? <laughs> In general or recently? Because recently. I'd say yes to both. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he seems a bit, um, yeah, glowy, yeah, mm. yeah. <laughs> Recently I checked my compass after his incident, mm-hmm. and it was worrying quite vigorously after. Mm. What does that normally mean? If I'm honest, I'm still quite unsure as to how the compass works, <laughs> but it means that something might be going on internally. Ooh, does it mean like internal moral conflict? From what I've understood of compass, I have a very clear direction of good or bad or righteous. Mm. This was given me very inaccurate and aggressive erratic data. What what do you get when you point it at me? Good. <laughs> well, that's nice. I would not like to say that Alexi can't be trusted because we are mates, but this new discovery makes me, how you say, concerned. Oh yes, it does rather change things, doesn't it? Mm. Mm. Did you hear that? Oh, I've, I've been able to hear you the entire time. Ah. As you guys sort of realise <laughs> that this has been a very open conversation, Mayway <laughs> slowly Hi-ya! clips the side of the fence that borders a little bit. Hi! Oh, there you are! God, get on. 
Your bag's all packed, everything. A couple of crates and some provisions. I also pat loaded the up for you as well. Oxen to, oh. to oxen. This <laughs> is Hazelmere, and this is Leandra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on you get, guys. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You would appreciate that, Lexi. <laughs> we could go for our ne oh the next God, name. They even sound the same. <laughs> <laughs> and Alexi will just get on the front <laughs> and sit next to May, where he's like, "Fucking hell!" You, you sit down, and there's a small leather bag also at your feet, which you actually kick, and you open it up, and you see three brightly coloured girls <laughs> with a little note for Lord Castor. <laughs> I'm glad you liked the name because my next options were Saskia and Addie. Let's go. <laughs> to Milford! Is I think Cyril in there? Cyril is also in there. Fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's in the back, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Denise just, just puts does a quick thumbs up for things. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do hi -ya! and get them moving? <laughs> Mile is just kicking back, having a lovely time. <laughs> <laughs> As the goes off, Alex would just pick up the fact and just throw it. <laughs> How was it? Oh, um, full? Uh, yes, it feels so much better. Thank Lovely. you. It was quite funny. Oh, excellent. I don't think he did really know much about the cast devs, so it was a bit of a surprise. Oh, no, he yeah. was, it was. His assessment of me was remarkably accurate. Oh. Yes. Yeah, why does, your fa why does he think that you were at the. Oh well, I would Cold estimate that if I uh, if I was to suddenly stop um, delivering orders, even though well they they were never actually my orders, it's just uh, you know well you, you 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 know what it's like. You're you're trying to run a duchy. Your sister comes in, she hands a big quill, big uh, scroll in front of you. She's like, sign here, and you go, well, yeah, there you are. Fuck off. I'm doing a thing, and you yes, know that is an everyday occurrence. Exactly for me. right. It's such a yeah. pain. Yes. So if if um you if know only those orders would stop. If if. If I suddenly stopped, you know, signing off on things, then it would raise questions. And well, when your when your family is based around a very dark secret, then you tend to not like any sort of questions. As yes, so uh, for all intents and purposes, I'm not here, which is why, as I've said many times before. If we're a little too vocal about who I am, the assassins are highly likely. Understood. But also interesting, because it seems like Abel's closest servant didn't know about the Deep Dark family secret. I think he did. He did? Yes. There was a look at the end. He realised his mistake? Yes. Ah. Sucks to be him. <sighs> How did he taste? Eh, fine. Pretty standard. Um, uh... Hope grub. <laughs> Humans have a saying that everything just tastes like chicken. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like that. Oh. In that, you know, all humans basically just taste the same. There's not much variant. You've probably mm. never tasted anything, right? Never. We should find a way to make that happen. Well, um, surely we could build some sort of uh, yeah. subroutine or uh, uh, some way of you tasting. Yeah. So I can taste yeah. food and drink like you. Yeah. Yes, I mean, you know, I'd, be, I'd be more than happy to help tinker. Though I'd be a little worried about what I would be messing around with. Don't worry about that. I've been doing it for years, and I am just fine. Oh, <laughs> I've been doing the exact same thing. <laughs> Bit different. Or is it not? Who knows? Fascinating stuff. <laughs> anyway, so the road continues ahead <laughs> quite happily, uh, and. <laughs> Road is clear. The odd, the odd bit of traffic comes through, uh, and you you make your way without much incident. Clear roads. The weather, though muddy, keeps sort of pushing, and you pull up and you settle to camp just off the road for the evening. Who would like to take first watch? Science club. Chill. <laughs> cool. Uh, I will get either a singular perception check or one with advantage. <laughs> I mean, you gave me advantage earlier on, so fast back. Yeah, that's true. Uh, cool. Okay, so that's an 18 plus 7. An 18 plus 7? Yeah. Cool. Um, Just me, is everyone's rolls today really good. Yeah. It's, 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 the vast yeah. majority have been... I've had a couple of shit ones, but 
Yeah. So overall. Matt's got in his notes big fight, but he just keeps pushing it further and yeah. further back. <laughs> yeah, that's the next, next to session. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're taking a picture of a dice. What happened? He rolled very, very well. Or he rolled another one because he's just taken that dice off the tray. <laughs> the sun goes <laughs> down. <laughs> Things seem dark, <laughs> and yeah. the evening settles in for both of you. Is there anything you guys want to talk about? So, yes. Um, couple of things. Right. There's the potion. Oh, right. Yes. Do you want me to try it? Maybe not right now. Okay. But we should do that. It's, we should. Do you yeah. want to have a look at it? Yeah. And yeah. Sure. Um, also, are you okay? Well, yes, I, I feel fine. Okay. You sure? Yes, I've had some food. I, I mean, you know, yes. Yeah, but you seemed a bit shell shocked earlier. Oh uh, well, uh, having a God's voice, I, I never really believed in them. I mean, I know it's 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 quite odd to not, but um, uh, it's more more that I chose not to follow one. Yeah, that's fair. I don't really have anything to do, much to do with them, to be honest. Mm. Um. But if I'm understanding correctly, and I'm probably not, this is all entirely... I'm supposed to do something, mm-hmm. I think. And I, I don't know how much one can interpret a sentence, a short one at that, but I think she wants me to do something. I think I think my family in her eyes have lost our way. Mm. And she has given me a way of David, before you can finish that thought you hear thunk and a long javelin flies out and hits you square in the chest as a bright light and suddenly this long javelin sticking out as you take 4, 12, 14, 14 points of piercing damage and a further 9 points of radiant damage and you are suddenly impaled and stuck against the tree. Stepping out of the clearing is an armoured cleric with a mace walking slowly towards the two of you and you hear whistles (whistles) coming from three different directions around you. Master Castoff, was it? <laughs> you should really be better at cleaning up your mess. <laughs> Blood. Arathus will see to you, see to you very soon. Yeah. And you're spoiled. Do we wake up? And that's where we're going to enter the next Oh man. It's a very familiar looking cleric. Jaira. Dark skin, yeah. orange hair. That no one inside checked the entire time. Well, we only saw him once. <laughs> Shit. Mm-hmm. But you know. Her, it's a her. Well, you only saw her once. Yeah, it's a her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she came into the church. Oh. <laughs> How much damage did you take there? Uh, oh. So just there was literally half. Piercing, piercing and nine. And another nine, t- another half? nine sorry, and he has top of the that. most. Uh, she rolled a natural group. 20 on stealth, which is why that would kill I took me. a is, photo of that. Is the radiant, uh, is that the full radiant damage? Nine. That's already half. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Wait, so it would have been 18. Would have been 18. 18 points of radiant oh, damage. Wow. Yep. Nice. Oof. Holy shit. So, we'll see where we pick up from that. Uh, uh, next episode chat? of Who Lives in Dice. Post show chat. Absolutely yeah. post show chat. Okay. Thanks again for watching. Fuck. Uh, fantastic to have you. Until next time. Uh, yeah. Bye. That's it. Bye bye yeah. bye 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 bye. 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 <laughs> it's the direct staring and the sort of weird whispering. Oh my god, I'm gonna choke on this. <laughs> Great me! Oh god. <laughs> yeah! Great me! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> How did you miss? David just closed his eyes it. and a grape sailed past him. <laughs> <laughs>
Matt, I hope you're looking forward to us ruining your perfectly crafted I mean, studio. This is literally what it's here for. I don't care. Just don't spill anything like nasty on the floor. Um, like a, a grape that flew past David's head. Sure. Landed somewhere over there yeah. that we're not quite sure about. You can find it later. It's fine. <laughs>